go recording. Oopsie. Uh, yeah. So okay. So uh, let's look here. I hope the image will not be small. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, so <coughs> I don't even remember what we were doing last time. Do you recall? I know that today we will like review stuff, like because well, we need it. <laughs> yeah. With urgency. So let me just get like the things here for reference. Wow, there's a lot of changes. <laughs> okay. Uh, do I have auto completion? Because I cannot code in Haskell without auto completion. That's torture. Okay, I do. Uh, this test port. Okay, it works. So let's see. Uh, let's go on the checklist here. I think we have it on box. Features. Okay. Silverware backwards compatibility. I think we do have more already, so I think that's is that's done for real. Okay, most of that we certainly do not have. Mm hmm Dude, this is like a Christmas wish list. <laughs> There's no way we're gonna do all of this. <laughs> uh, are you there, Nathan? Yeah. Okay. Dude, look at this list, man. This is a wish list. Wait, so I'm just like taking a look on some stuff. Okay, so type operators. What are your thoughts, Nathan? what we uh, have right now yeah we kind of have it already everything well we kind mm -hmm. of right so no <laughs> i see so okay let's let's do the following let's look L last week we tried to parse everything right and test so let's just write examples and try to see the behavior of yeah the no, i think that's not a great idea i think we should review the type checking I'm just getting some reference here. Well, we can... Because yeah, I, I okay. know, like, some stuff that we don't have implemented. Yeah, because I have no guess on what could be wrong here. I don't even... No, like, there are things that are straight up missing. Where? And some others that are wrong. Uh, well, I'm like checking, right? So, list to me. What are the things okay. missing? Let me just, like, get some stuff here. So, let me look at your screen. Go to the type yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what code. is missing? Oh, yeah. you want to see the code? Oh, man. oh, that's very tiny, man. I will increase. Let me remove these numbers. Better? Needs numbers. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so let's go to the application case, for example, right? Okay, application. We. Oops. So we. Oh, okay. That thing was the, the kinding. Oh, okay. Wait a second. We reduce the type of the function. No, okay. We get the function and then we bind with the reduce. And then we match that thing to check if it's an arrow. If it is an arrow then we do the same thing again but with the argument and then we compare that against the parameter of the function and does that also need to Can be you reduced? Go to the reduce type function does just one question does this mm -hmm. also need to be reduced right the parameter type oh but i assume that this function here is a this type this reduce of the function already returns. This is just an assumption. I think this already reduces the the argument part. 
the annotation I mean for the function. Let's check that. It depends on the reduce. Like if it's a full normalize. Let's see that. Right. So. so yeah, we do have these. Or it's probably just not right, I guess. Oh yeah, as we reduce the body, but abstraction has parameter name, parameter kind, and y. Yeah, but so don't... we reduce the body and um okay, but yeah, we don't have to do kind stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Then we probably sh don't need to. Yeah, it's already checking recursively. I think I discussed this with Lemus. That was fine. Parameter. Kind. Wait, there is something weird here, man. Uh, weird on what? Like, like there we are matching what exactly? Uh, what do you mean here? Uh, or okay. like this? The function that we were, and you were asking if we need to reduce a certain thing. Like what were we matching there? Can you show us again? This. <sighs> Okay, we are the error, right? Okay, yeah, I was looking at the <coughs> wrong spot, so go back there again. Um, let me look at the arrow. Okay, so we have the parameter and the reduce, and we reduced both, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it should be okay. We yeah. Maybe don't need to reduce it again. Okay. Yeah, so let me grab the thing here. So we get the parameter type, we match it against that. If that's the thing, then we already have the result type. Is Lemus there? Yeah. Yes. Alright. So if that's the case, we already have the result type. Uh, which I don't think we have to normalize again, because that's up to another call, another function, whatever. It's just like on this case for comparisons, right? But in here, I don't think it matters. It's not done recording? Uh, I am recording because not a good it. Okay. Uh, uh, let's go through. Let me stop here. No, 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 no! Don't stop. Let's go. Oh, but we can go on Visual Studio. Oh, you mean Emacs? <coughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. No. Just keep recording. So we reached which point on the Omega stuff? What are we checking? We are verifying I'm stuff. Not pretty much. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> we only took a look at some stuff. Like okay. Specifically. Okay. Yeah, but I guess we have to begin on the the FC and go like all the way in. Otherwise, we like proceed will be just like not knowing what we have so far. That makes sense. And be aware, I might get off your stuff yeah, because you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I close everything before we start. Uh, just be aware of that. Quit. Well, if you want... Well, I don't want to edit stuff, man, so I want you to continue recording because... You're well. just lazy, then. I see. <laughs> well, I, I, I ha you are also lazy, so I'm just copying you. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I'm literally... Uh, for the audience, I'm literally using Visual Studio inside Emacs. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> gotta flex that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man, but... Uh, it's kind of bad that you don't have the completion here, right? You no, but that doesn't shared, matter. Man. Yeah, okay. Okay, so did you did you send the link? Uh, yes, I did. It's oh, okay, so um, I'll go there. Okay, continue, continue uh, doing what you guys were doing. Remax. Okay, so I will increase. Yeah, let's start with the uh, Steam and get Okay, let's go there. Is this good? Can you see? Uh, yeah, but if you can, like, one more time. Yeah, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, types. Uh, let's start with the with this. And then we have another one that has different stuff. Is it this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we don't care about values. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't. Only type checking. So let's see. <laughs> uh, this is our substitution bullshit. Yeah, go to the, the one that we have for expression, I guess. Um, these are our types. Yeah, the entry point should be there, here. So, oh, literals, here variables, operations, 
and this operator, if I recall, was just yeah, was just our trick. Uh, yeah, we the have normal stuff like variable, abstraction, application, and the other like extra two on the core are just a type of abstraction and a type of application. Besides that, we have the base one. What about kind check? There are... this? Yeah, I, I don't remember what is this, but it's not <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Don't worry. So okay, we have the literals. There are the base ones, mm -hmm. right? We have variable, <laughs> like there is the normal stuff. We have the abstraction that has the name that will be bound, mm -hmm. the type describing it, maybe a return type. That's something to keep in mind. Yeah, that's what we got. We stopped before. <laughs> yeah, and the body, like the application, no secret, expression, expression, type of abstraction. Uh, we have the name that will be bound, mm -hmm. the kind describing it. We have the expression for the body, and this is uh, and maybe the return. Sure. Yeah, maybe the re the yeah. So can we write an example of that? Like to be clear, I guess. I think we have one that we can produce from the AST already. Like, it's just for us to reason about. We don't need to see Please, if it right? works or not. Uh, no, no. Like, no, no. let's write the ID function, right? Yeah, With exactly. but that, that works. That will okay. generate the same structure. That's what I'm saying. I don't need to think. No, I think what no, he, what he I wants... don't want to see <laughs> what he's generating to think about that. It's okay, because I'm taking a look on the ASP. to see if we are doing something right. Yeah, that's what he wants. He wants to check. Not it quite. It's for me to understand. An application. Yeah, each type of abstraction. No, 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 no. R write like the code for ID. You don't need yeah, the. Yeah, write the silver code for it. It can be code oh, of any see. language, really. You just don't know. Yeah. This is one of them. Can I write? Oh, I can write. Okay, so I can I can help you, Nathan. So what you want is this, right? You want a, a, an example of a piece of code that will be parsed to any type of abstraction. Is that right? No, no. Uh, if you take a look there on the node, we have the one that is describing the type of abstraction and he's using a annotation for the return. I want to see an example of that so we can like reason about the thing. If there is something that is missing or that doesn't make sense for me okay. to... Okay, so better. this is what we want, right? We want to write this. Yeah. Yeah, so what's, it's what I said. We want to write the code that will be parsed to this. Okay. okay. So we want, it is, this is the for all, right? Am I going yes. crazy? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I, we do have an example of the for all then. So I'm going to go to the examples okay. uh, functions yeah, or HW. Examples for everything. Uh, yeah. And then we have. Uh, this. Uh, yeah, this. Yeah, this is the example the of the. Because I don't think they're right. I think this is the example yeah, that. No, no, that's no, no, that's a lambda that receives a for all, man. Yes, that's this is the thing. thing that we want. I know. Yeah. Not quite, because this is the type of the for all, right? We want the, the yes. expression. Oh. Did we ever make that? I don't think we ever did it. <laughs> Uh, so we don't have an example of that. I guess. Oh, we have an e-type application. That's this. Okay, so an e-type abstraction. We need to receive. It's gonna be a for all. Um, yeah. Let's just look. Okay. What is an example of that in F sharp, Nathan? Oh. We don't have. Don't have let me write that. something, man. Let me stop being lazy. What do you mean, that in F sharp? That's the whole point of the language not having it. <laughs> no, at least not explicitly, right? But, uh, so let me write have something. Inheris yeah. Inheritance for that. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I don't think we ever. Uh, yeah, we, we can look at the parser what we did. Let's see. Yeah, we can look at the best. That's bold. That's bold. <laughs> no, that's 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 correct. So type for all, we did this. Okay, so, so it is in the 
<coughs> expression. Just parsing the type expressions, eh? Yeah, it is in the expression abstraction. It is yeah. on 947. Oh, this is the behemoth that we were we um, fixed last time. So, okay, let's see. Uh, we check. We start with the lambda. Okay. So, we start with the bracket lambda. Man, we have the grammar, what you are doing. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Uh, what is the here? Uh, Universal okay, so uh, abstraction. Yeah, an so it, abstraction. You, an abstraction can have parameters and that w can be parameters of, of types, or the parameters can be kinds. In our specific case, we want the parameters to receive kinds. Mm -hmm. So we just do substitution. So parameter parameters is this. Yeah, it is exactly as an abstraction, but instead of having a type <coughs> in the annotation, is the kind. It is exactly that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that example that we had in the functions.sw, it, it is this. This. So there. Yeah, this. I just I just grab it. It's this, Nata. Mm -hmm. oh. But this is a type. We need to imagine this being a kind. I don't know, star. Yeah, but I already wrote here. I'm just not like pressing enter because, well, I'm still thinking about how to write the, the output. Like, okay, uh, let's go back to the types of HS. So okay, we have the me, text. Okay, I already typed here. So the thing that I'm thinking is, it's a bit weird because the return type it depends on the parameter, right? So we would annotate this as H way. And how would that be useful? And how does that relate to our consistency, right? Because regarding consistency, I guess we need actually for the. Okay, so Magetta, <laughs> can you go to show.sw? I just pasted what Nathan uh, sent the, in the chat. So it is a function that picks something with the name A, which has this kind, right? Has this kind. And the return type will be something that we don't know. Uh, and then we have another function that receives an X that has this uh, this type, right? Because this type this is the name of the type with this kind. Oh, this so is X. Is, is and then the we, body. We made the other day. I remember. And then the body is just X. So what is your question, Atan? Again. So we have a few things. The first one is regarding consistency. I guess the easiest one, because if you are doing on the other. Uh, like on the normal lambda, we should have there also. Especially because when we are using like sugar, <coughs> when you have a function that we are both receiving types and and terms at the same time, then well, it's consistent. If like for both cases, you can do a return, right? Uh, yeah, but return we are doing that. Yeah, but we, we are. What? what? We are doing that. Yeah, the Wait. number abstraction, the type abstraction, both are the same. No, no, no. He's saying about all of them have being on the same ST, which is the what we were talking before, was it not? I'm not talking how things are, but like how they should be. Not how they should no, be, how no. they could Wait. be. Repeat what you said. Now, what are your your, your okay. speech? So, okay. So far, we <laughs> have like return types, like mm -hmm. that we understand better. For the normal lambda, right? Yes. Like, and yes. we know how that is useful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. But now we are thinking about this. Not that I'm saying that it's not implemented or that should not be implemented or that should be implemented. I'm just saying that at least I don't understand as much of this case as the other normal error case. So what I'm saying is one oh, of the questions is regarding consistency, right? Mm -hmm. Because when we are using the syntax sugar for doing functions, for you, you don't know. Like the user doesn't know if it's a type abstraction, if it's an abstraction. Like he's just like writing a function that the parameters can be types, can be terms, like whatever, right? He doesn't care about it. Okay, I see. So, so the problem is you don't know what to infer to be this return type. No. For this. That, no, no, it's not that, about being. It. No, it's not about being. 
in, infer, inferring. No, ignore the word about... infer. I don't. I don't mean inferring. Like in, like inferring. Like in ML. I mean, oh, okay. I mean, like, yeah. you don't know what you put what in What would be right? there? No, no I know. Would be the A tray. Like, it's an arrow A tray. Right? Yeah, but then uh, the question is. Curl, right? Hmm? Doesn't it need to be wrapped into something? No, no. That's the return type, right? So, what does we have after the arrow? It's a function of A to A. Yeah, so it is. The type is an arrow, yes, but, indeed. Yeah, but okay, but what would be A in here? It's a type. Doesn't arrow. matter. But yeah, it's a type variable. Oh, okay. Yes. That makes sense. Uh, uh, but what, uh, as far as I can tell, what I understood Nathan said is that for him, it's pretty natural to have a return type when talking about abstractions. But then the question is, <coughs> does it make sense to have that also in the E-type abstraction? And then we have a few aspects, right? The first one that I was talking about is consistency. consistency. For consistency, yeah. it, it makes total sense. Yeah. Because it would be so fucking weird if the user in some cases can annotate and in others can't, and <laughs> yeah. he doesn't know why. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because in the SC, they are like different things than what they look to the user. Yeah, yeah exactly. So that is this case, right? Yeah. Uh, that is the, like, that, that's the least, like, uh, harder, that's the easiest point. The second easiest is regarding, is that the useful? Uh, I guess it's less useful, but, well, it does, it's not a problem not being as useful as the other, right? Yeah, it is not, it's not, yeah, I agree with you, I totally agree. So, you see, like, there we would write, uh, well, I don't think anyone would write that <laughs> in practice, but you could write, oh, the return is A to A. Like, sure, you are checking as you are doing with the other return type, but I don't know, it, it seems less useful for me for some reason. I can't explain properly, I guess. No, but you don't have to, but that's the yeah. thing. If you don't think it's useful, this is a maybe, so you can just don't, uh, don't put it. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, that's the part that I see. It's not a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now the not as easy part is still not necessarily hard, but that one may involve some what needs to do in type checking. is how we deal with this, right? Because, ah. Well, oh, because so of the reduction, see. right? It's I because have, of the reduction. I already have a guess. Let's see. Oh, wait, that's not here. So, yeah, there are some things. The first one is that as with the lambda, and I'm not sure if we are doing that yet, we need to kind check. That's a fact, right? We need to kind check. We need to do with both. The other thing that you say is reduction. Yeah, we need to do reduction. But that's kind of a detail, because what you really need to do is comparison. The comparison, like, we'll do the the reduction for us ideally, right? Yeah, yeah, so, but let me uh, let me explain to, to Magetta the reduction part because I think I remember that. So the problem, uh, Magetta, is that the the type of the body, the return type of the body of the abstraction can be one type, mm -hmm. and the annotation could be another, but they are the same if you yeah, reduce you, both. And, yeah, I get it. You follow them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then that's, what, that's why we needed to do this uh, yeah, was, at I some point here. in time. I was here when we did this. I don't think so. I think you went for dinner. I think that I, I did this with Nathan. Well, I remember doing something similar, but anyway, like I remember reducing stuff. That's fine. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But that's a that one that that is one of the gotchas that we got that oh man, doing extensions before finishing the omega is problematic. Uh, because we need to think about these, the, we need to handle these extensions to be still correct. So that's a, that's some. Well, hey, you was... see, right? Like it's such a tiny thing, <laughs> and that is our, that is like also two things to talk about, right? The first is the last point about this, and I think I already like know the solution, and it is basically that uh, uh, different from the lambda, where the return type doesn't depend on the parameter type, this one does. But it's easy to solve. When doing the kind, we will increment that environment, putting the parameter there. Wait, wait, uh, you said something that I, I missed and I think it's important for me to understand. You said that the abstraction doesn't have something that the E-type abstraction does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, 
Yeah, can you do this example with a normal lambda? Like do a lambda, annotate the parameter in the return? Oh, yeah. So, actually I'm gonna just copy paste from our stuff. Like you can just do the ID of, like, not a generic ID, right? Yeah, this. ID of int to int. So this is an integer. And as far as I can tell, the the syntax that we chose is this. Was it like okay. this? I don't think we need the... I don't remember anymore. Though. Yeah. Yeah, so, okay. You guys see that in the return type, uh, how can I? No, it does has the it does have the column. Oh, it does. It is like this. Okay, it's more cursed okay. than I thought. <laughs> so the thing is, we have the parameter name and type, and yeah. we have the return type. Yeah. The return type in the case of the lambda never depends on the parameter in any way. Can you repeat the last part? Yeah. The return annotation never depends on the parameter annotation in any way. Yeah. The return type on type annotation doesn't depend on the parameter type annotation. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. Okay, I agree. But that what does happen that? with the for all. Oh yeah. Wait, can, what, can you yeah, repeat the... Uh, oh, the for all it doesn't... Yeah. Oh! So Wait, go to can the you... other example, the for all that you wrote. Yeah, so I think I still have it. So... This... Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually the one that I that I said. Not this one. Oh, okay. And substitute the, the question marks with the... Arrow mm -hmm. H-way. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I see. It's be, it because the A comes as a type variable introduced before. Yeah. Yes. Ah. So, see, when doing the kind of this, we first incremented the environment with the parameter. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. that sounds like the, the COC, right, Magenta? Yeah. Was, that was the same example. I remember you, you were giving this on the normalization. Uh, but, yeah. So, see, like, uh, so like resuming, it was not hard. Now we know the points, like we, we know how to do it. But it's just that it's something that we need to consider. <laughs> like they are not describing the paper, the extension that we are doing. We need to reason about that before. Yeah. Uh, be sure that they are correct, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing was the most fucking unexpected that I guess Maget was not here, is that besides how to do it, like how to type check it, that is a choice that makes quite a quite a thing. So, uh, how? Okay. So, uh, let's suppose we have an application, right? We have an application, and the left side has a lambda. This lambda has a parameter notation, mm -hmm. and on okay. the right side we have an argument. So we want to check if the type of the argument is the same as the type of the parameter that is expected, right? Yes. Uh, then what we do is to see if they are equivalent, right? So yes. we reduce both, we check if they are like um, alpha equivalent and such and such. But you see that the type of the body of the lambda depends on the type of the par of its parameter. So even though the argument has the type of what we actually receive, the type of the body will not be modified by it. Okay, no, the last I want I need you to repeat the last part. Only the last part. Okay. So the type of the body of the lambda depends on its parameter, right? In this case, in the E type abstraction, yes. No, no, I'm talking about the normal lambda. Yeah. Oh, the normal lambda. Yeah. The type, the type of its body yeah. depends on its parameter. Why is that? Because for inferring the body, 
we increment the environment. Oh yeah, this, okay. Depending on that sense. Okay, that's true. Yeah. But when we are applying that same <laughs> lambda that was typed, the argument has a type that is not exactly equal to the parameter. It is equivalent, right? Oh, I see what you mean. So but you, you see can that have that is not determining the result of the whole application. What is determining was with what was already the type of the body of the lambda. Wait, I, let me try to say what I understood what you said. So if you have an application, which means that you have something on the right and something on the, and a lambda on the left, and then we know that the type of the body depends on the, the, the types of the, the parameters because we need to increment the environment with those. Yeah. And then another thing that you said is that these two things, the arguments and the parameters, they can have different types, but they can be reduced to the same one. Mm -hmm. That's another thing that I got. And uh, I think that I, I stopped understanding at that point. I have a better I, way to explain. So like more in the step by step. So when we check them, they are equivalent. What we do is just return the type of the body of the lambda, right? Yeah. No, actually, I think we. I don't think we do that. No, we optionally. That's exactly what we do. No, we optionally check. Oh this yeah, yeah, if it exists, yeah, but that's yeah, it. that's true. That's true. But ignoring. No, no, the, but the we, are, we are making something here. Bro. Let's no, see. No, 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 folks, folks. No, Let's no, ignore no. the part of the return annotation because I'm trying to do a foundation for talk about this, right? Okay, go on. Ignore this. Just okay. consider the normal error type. Okay. When we compare the type of the argument and the parameter, if they are equivalent, we just return the body type of the error, right? Yeah. But you see that there is something funny there? Even though they are equivalent, we are not returning, for example, the type of the argument. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. That's. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't apply. Yeah, so let's go to the example of the annotation, right? So now we we saw this one. Is that a, the one you're looking for? No, I think I think it's talking about moment. the one. I think it's talking about this. <coughs> Oh man, Magetta, can you go to the expression parser for a moment? Yeah. Line 52, man. This was wrong. I just fixed it. <laughs> oh, okay. So Wait, it was one spaces, one. char, and then option type, right? But that's a problem because oh, then you we're can gonna... have nothing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's you can funny. have the column hanging there just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Let's go back, let's go back. But go. Just one thing, shouldn't the spaces be outside? Shouldn't the spaces be outside? At least one of them. Oh, maybe. I did that in a hurry, so maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe one spaces like this one. I think the first one, yeah. So spaces, this, and then you remove that. Yeah. You do like this. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, but this was like, you guys, Nathan was talking, and man, this seems wrong. <laughs> yeah, that was a good spot. <laughs> okay, go on, Nathan. So, the check that we do is we increase, like, for checking the lambda, right? Uh, we, how can I say? We increment the environment with the parameter to infer the type of the body, right? And yes. when we infer... Then we check if it is equivalent with the return annotation, right? Yes. So the thing that me and Lemus stumble upon is, okay, now what type do you return as the body of the arrow? Will yes. it be what was yes. inferred or what it was like in the annotation? Right? Mm -hmm. So first of all, we have a choice to do. And yeah, and we made a choice yeah. already. I would and, say well, it's the annotation, right? It's a yeah, we yeah, we did the annotation. Yeah, I don't remember the arguments that we used, but we also thought that the no, annotation... It, no, the argument is easy, it's because yeah. it's so weird. Imagine, you are programming something, and you annotated the type to be something, and then the type is different than you, were, than you wrote. 
Yeah, 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 and then, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. And then what we did is, oh, if you didn't type annotate, so in the line 103 with the nothing, then, then we return the inferred one. Yeah. But, yeah, so... The inferred, not reduced one, by the way, also. Yeah. So, like, the first thing that we see is that, like, okay, we did the choice and it's, like, solved, right? But a thing to note is that, dude, that was just a simple addition, and now we have, like, type conversion in... Kind of in our language, man. <laughs> yeah, who cares, man? We're gonna add I'm in. not saying it's bad. I'm just saying look, it's for us to like look keep at, an eye on stuff. Look here, just look at this list. Are you excited, Nata, about the stuff you gotta do? We gotta I do an no update system. What, I have no idea what you mean by that, man. No, I'm just saying, like, you are thinking, oh, like, this tiny thing just caused all the problem. Just imagine doing all of this. No, 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 that's the thing, it's not a problem. I'm just what? saying what it's unexpected. No, okay, but dude, like that that could give a headache. That's what I'm saying. Oh yeah, it will for sure. Not it could. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. Now we talked about the return notation of the type of instruction, right? It will just like work normally, and we already go through how to type check. So let's go back to the EST. Okay. I am there. So we already checked all the normal things, oh, like so base. What are we changing in these files? Let me just keep track of stuff. Okay, nothing. It was just... <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Okay, so... so... we already <coughs> took a look on, like, the, like, base stuff, like, base types, variable, abstraction, application, even the, like, extra stuff that we have on the abstraction. Now we have the other... Wait, we also have the type of application, okay. Now we have like some of the other things, right? Like operation, the elect, and the condition. Only those three, right? Yeah, this yeah. one uh, we already checked last week. Yeah, so the condition, like, it's laughable. Yeah, the condition <laughs> right? is, yeah. When so going to this code, we will check if there is something weird that we need to do there, but maybe it is. Probably for checking the type of the of these things, we might uh, have to like normalize and reduce and stuff. A question right? for you, Magetti. Did you remember to pull the code? Yes, I did. Okay. Go, Nathan. So yeah, the, the code itself, like it's laughable, the condition, mm -hmm. but we still need to go through and check if we are, for example, reducing the thing on the predicate so we can match and see if it's really a bool, right? Because it could be application that results in a bool, right? Okay, so it's uh, line 81. Line 81 is the typer. No, we don't need to check that now, right? We will go through just everything. Yeah, let's just see, man, real quick. So we type check the condition, reduce the condition. Then we reduce the condition. If it's uh, a boolean. Then we do stuff. If it's not a boolean, we just say it's something else. Nice, you're already doing. And this is already yeah. improvement. So needs to be a boolean in if expression and it is this. Mm -hmm. That's also a decision, right? In what to return. Yeah, so then what we do, we, we type check the then branch and the else branch, then we reduce their types, then we compare them, and if they are equal, we just return one of them. We chose to return the them. Yeah, the first. Yeah, does it have any significant difference? Like, we reduce both and we check if they are equal. What is the thing that could be... Uh, <coughs> how can I say it? What is the thing that could be like very different, even when the things are reduced? The only thing I can think so far, it's like uh, the things that are alpha, like equivalent, right? Uh, but besides that, Wait. what I mean is the following. Yeah. Uh, we reduce both, right. right? And they are not necessarily exactly the same. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Why do you, can you give an example of that? This is wrong. Uh, like, like, suppose that both are for alls, but they have different, like, binds, right? Different mm -hmm. names. Both are for alls and they have different names. Okay. But, okay. The but then the right. reduced type will make them equal, right? No, no. That's a, they are already, like, reduced, right? Yeah. What I'm asking is, when they are both reduced and equal, how different could they be? 
right? Because the only case I'm thinking so far is when they are like alpha equivalent, right? And well, I don't think that's a problem, right? Uh, but there are, are there other cases where they are like pretty different? Man, I can and... only think of rolls. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> I can only think of rolls at the moment. Because the, the arrow doesn't have a, a line on the type. Uh, yeah, maybe we, we have like some things with alias and stuff. Yeah, yeah probably yeah. with the alias we have a problem, but so far we don't. So going back to the ST, we still have like more two. Yeah, okay. So then we have the E operation that we are pretty confident that we did last week. So the ah. E operation is composed out of an operator and a list of expressions. Yeah, I don't think that is any trick there, right? No, we tested with all of them actually. Really. Oh, actually there is. Oh, no. Things need to be reduced there. Because expressions can be variables and have types as like applications, right? Aren't we already doing that? Let me check. I I'm not sure. Are. Let's see. I don't remember writing reduce for it. I think we're just annotating directly. That's a good reason for the reduce being inside the equals, man. Here. Because Wasn't then it? that is how we forgot. Um... No, you need to go to the type checking, Magetta. Wait, uh, we're we are not. Here? No, we are not reducing it ever. We are just type checking each operation? one of the. Oh, wow. It is line one hundred twenty-six. Wait. Operator here. Yeah. So as far as I am aware, we are not reducing them. You were just checking if they are equal. Yeah. We just yeah. check if the types are equal. And then you said that this would be a good argument to put the reduce inside the equality. Yeah, like equal receives like both that stuff, is normalize them, and then like do the equal check, right? Yeah. Yeah, but besides that, a specific point of reducing stuff, like it's also the same thing as the if, like it's laughable, the, the thing. It's only compared if they are equal, if the operator accepts them, right? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> just a sec, just a sec. Because I think instead of changing the equality, we can yeah, just add okay. the into the typer, we can just add that in here. Like reduce uh, type env and reverse bind and then done. Reverse <laughs> The backwards uh, fish. Yeah, so this is, we already reduce all of them. Yeah, for the... Yeah. Okay, in this four, right? Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna type check and immediately reduce it, each one of them individually. And each, if any of them break, everything breaks. Don't we need to reduce also the... I think they never break, man. Because... No, 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 we don't know about that, right? No, that's the thing. I think I know. <laughs> because... The cases in which it could happen that they need to be reduced mm. is when they are a variable and it's type in the environment, it's like an application, right? So I don't think there is any situation where we put a thing in the environment that is wrong because they are only put there when you apply some abstraction. No, 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 and no, no we... wait, 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 wait. You know, I'm not talking about that breaking. I'm talking about if, because this is a list of any sort of expressions. If some, if any of them doesn't type check, we are going to stop the for immediately. That's what I meant. Oh, okay. Breaking. I thought you were talking about no. the reduce part. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, so um, you were about to say something, Magetta. No, I, I think that just ignore me. Okay, I so. What I was going to say. Okay, so now that we are added reduce to the e operator, e operation, we can go back to the types of HS. Mm -hmm. Now we only have to analyze the e let, I guess. Yeah, that one maybe it's more, <laughs> more complicated. Yeah. Ah. So, oh, and can something you... that I remember about this comment is that last time we talked about kind shaping. Which, which comment? I can see yours. Oh, Margetta is go to types of HS, please, Margetta. Yeah. So when I wrote this thing. I remember that not done, that you establish a rule, uh, some sort of uh, a rule that we can. Oh, if we do things in this order, then it's fine. 
I just remember that, oh, if you do this first and then we can check later, it's always going to be fine. That and something was... like that. But it's have... impossible to you to remember, I know. Yeah, I have not a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, but you did that. I remember it clearly. Um, anyway, yeah. so that now let's go to the... That more complex because, first of all, they have different... Wait, wait, go back there just for me to see the structure. We have like different ways to type check, right? That is a thing to yeah. consider. But what they have, like, it's the last one that is an expression that is a body, right? Yeah. And the other one is a list a of lets, right? Of binds. Yeah. yeah, so you have a tuple of a name and then an expression. Mm -hmm. And then the sorts cha <laughs> actually changes the behavior, the behavior. of the binds. It's, it's yeah. a, I think we only have an in. True. You have in yeah, and plus. An in and a plus. The plus ah, can you guys remember about the difference? Yeah, the in the plus is, is when... Go, Maget. No, I don't remember because we had three. The normal. No, which was we, like we had no, star also, but all. the star was too difficult to type. Yeah, check. okay, like with dependencies between themselves, mutually recursive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the in is the normal let, which means that what means to be a normal let? You can only use uh, in the like... Um, for in the future binds that you have in your let, you can only use the you cannot use the ones already defined there, right? Yeah, like this, right? Not like this, right? Well, no, this, no, like... It, like, like this. Sorry, like this. This is the normal let let, let in. The let plus oh, allows yeah. this the order to to change, right? Oh, um, wait, where I thought you were typing something, but I had in mind this like. You can only use X because, well, it's in the scope of this, so it should be like sort of like this. Yeah, that's like a normal let in is, right? Yeah. Yeah, the let in is a normal let. The let plus. The Dude, let what plus? did normal plus do? Let's see, let's see, because I had in mind the plus to be. Uh, no, man, it is the same behavior as in Lisp. We just have bad memory. Oh, there's no let plus in Lisp. That's a problem. There's no let plus in Lisp. No, there's let. Okay, star. so. We need to go to the evaluator then. Okay, let's Let see. Let me double check. Oh, yeah. Evaluator here. Oh, here. Okay, so yeah. let plus does. Let's see the letting first. So letting it unzip the binary. So you like unpack, right? Dismember. Yeah. Uh, then you type check the expression. Then you evaluate the expressions one by one. Oh, they are in parallel, yeah. right? Oh, that's the difference. One is in parallel and one is in series. That's the gotcha. Do you even have a reason to have them in parallel? Uh, do we have a reason to make uh, them in parallel? Not really. I think it's because in, sense, no. I think it's because in the let, normal let in, in Lisp, we don't, you can't use... The, yeah, they are always in parallel. interconnected stuff. Yes, but I don't see... That yeah, that's not a good point. No, 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 but that, I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying that was yeah, the reason. I remember that the <laughs> the one that we dropped, which was the let star, was the one that we needed a graph to define yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't think we need any of this, man. We only need to learn to do, like, mutual recursion. Yeah, but the mutual well, okay. recursion can be expressed in a graph. Yes. It's <laughs> much simpler than that, man. I hope so. I certainly hope so. Yeah, that would be... <laughs> it's sort of like this, and then, yeah, that would be pretty bad, man. Like, to do... I mean, that's kind of hard. Like, like, doing ad hoc? <laughs> because it, it, yeah, would have to get, it would have to get, like, something like this, right? Like, this is impossible. Like yeah, you need to, define, you need to be, be aware that this can't be a thing. <clears throat> Yeah, so Actually, this is no, but this is this is easy. To, this is easy. What this is that you just typed, Magetta, because this is just a definition of finding a cycle in a graph. Yeah, no, I, I see, but the pro the problem is making the graph here with like just for this. Yeah, but maybe maybe Nathan has a better idea to solve instead of using it. Actually, in the graph. The, I think Haskell like, already has a properly a structure, right? So a graph. Oh yeah, prob like, probably. Like yeah. folks, like really, really, like I know that there are like. Much simpler ways than anything to do with graphs, right? But but the graph is simple. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. With get that. wrecked. Get wrecked. Really good luck with that. For many reasons. Oh good luck wait, with that. we have examples of the lets. Yes. We're done. We have let fun here. So A B. Oh, okay. We can use mutually recursive definitions, but because this wasn't the scope. But then there's no. Oh, difference. this. 
No, no, no. There is a difference. There is a difference. Look at down here. So ABC is this, but this is not yet defined. Yeah, so this is a problem because, well, you don't have an entry point, right? If you had something like this, then you could maybe resolve it, I think. Yeah, like this you can resolve it, right? Because you have an entry point, you have this defined, yes, so this yes, is one. Yes. No, 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 but this, this is fundamentally one. different than the let plus because the let plus only allows the, like the, the current bind to use the previous ones. And, and the let star doesn't care about the order at all. So you can use it for say that ABC is oh, this, see, but see, this see, is see, not see, in the scope yet. I see. So we could not use here GHF, right? Yeah, exactly. G. Sorry. Yeah, we, we couldn't do that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. But so that's the difference case, between the plus, the star, and the unit. Yeah, but in this case, isn't it the same thing as the letting? No, but that's the thing. We were limiting the oh, let in to be the, the, the least to be the least flat. Mm -hmm. In the least flat, you cannot do this. Oops, now I remember the problem. The problem is that these cannot be done, I guess, uh, like without being lazy with values, only with functions. And the way this is doing with mutual recursion is that with recursion, you reserve like itself, right, as a parameter. But with mutual recursion, you can receive like a record with all the ones that are mutual recursive and all of them will receive that. And with functions, it's easy because you don't need to evaluate the body, For right? Which one you're talking about? The, the let's start. recursive functions. The let's yeah. start. So yeah, with values, it's hard without being lazy. Like, I don't think we can do without being lazy with values. <coughs> I actually don't, I actually don't think... Wait, let, let me see, like, I'm j j this is just a draft, right? I'm not saying that this is the correct way of doing, but I imagine, like, we parse this, and in the let plus implementation, we are picking, we are unzipping, and then evaluating all of the right parts, right? So, G, mm -hmm. H, J, A, B, C, and 1. What I think we would be doing differently, I think we would unzip, and then we, do, we would do something like, we're going to, we're going to see, we're going to try to evaluate this, and then if in the middle of the way we encounter something not defined, we stop the evaluation process and I we have, keep it hanging. I have the graph algorithm in my head, by the way. And then, and then we do the next one and we keep doing that until the end of the binds. If at the end we reach some of the evaluations of the, of the right parts, they, they, they halt, like we finish the evaluation, then we go back to the previous one that we left hanging and try them again. With the new yeah, environment. I guess that you need to do a slight modification limbs. I think you need to go through all of the bindings, collect all of the names, and then see that. Because you don't know if it's hanging because it doesn't have, like, at all in the scope, oh. or it, because it's the further in the list. No, but no, no, but we can we can do that. Because, for instance, let's suppose, let's suppose for a moment that this is another, I don't know, an error, I don't know, A. Right. Right. So then you're going to finish the binds and then you, you're you going to say, OK, so you, I finish the binds. Do, do I have any 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 leftovers like any? Uh, do I have still la hanging ones? If the answer is yes, you just throw an error. That's how you're going to know. It doesn't we're not going to differentiate between having an out of scope. Right. And because you did an infinite crap or whatever, like this could be infinite as well. Right. So this could be like this. And then if it is like this, it's not solvable, right? And then, but that's the thing. This is kind of like the halting problem. How are we going to stop the, the evaluation to say, okay, let's keep this hanging and go to the next one. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I think this is doable without a graph, this. I think with graph is way easier. You just find one value here that is reducible to something that is, yeah, to anything really, like it could be a variable already. Yeah, so it would be, be like unzip bindings, and then, big expression. You know that you have to maintain a, like a non-random evaluation order, right? So if you are starting from anywhere where you like, you have a problem with that. Okay, can you repeat that last part? Wow. Uh, your evaluation order should not be random. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know how. It is not random. It is. You can you specify hold, some, or... something, but no, no. it's still arbitrary. Like for example. Okay, sorry. It's one... not. Yeah, sorry. It's not random, but it's. How can I say? I'm not sure if predictable would. 
Yeah, like for example, on this case, you would you would define a graph, and all of these. Oh, dude, that's still a problem. Like, how do you know that this is from this let or this is from another let? Let's like resume this to. Uh no, no, just, uh, just the thing, yeah, I'm not so do this now, but dude, like, let me think of these lemmas. When, just a sec, when you encounter, uh, or you halt, if that's the case, uh, backtrack to try again the hanging ones. With halt, you mean the, I found something out of scope, right? No, 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 halt is you stop. So you, you what do you mean? Halt is like this. Yeah, this is the bottom case, right? Oh, yeah. But okay. it, that is my problem. Like, you don't how have do I know? Oh, wait. Yes, that is my problem. So if you halt, then you need to backtrack to the previous ones to see the, yeah. if you can fix the hanging ones. But dude, you you cannot find this halting one. That's the problem. You don't have guarantees that it is still halting. No, no, no. If you find uh, the evaluation process is succeeded, you, you, you can only have two options, my git. Mm. Or you succeed, I think or... I think a variable that is... Okay, if you have variable is unbound... Yeah. If a variable is Which unbound, is this point, right? Fine. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, save Otherwise, that and skip it. will save evolve it. the variable and you will get the value out of it. Exactly. So, so you yeah, have only okay. two cases. Or you are trying to use something that is not in the environment, and then you're gonna save and skip to the next one. Mm -hmm. Or you find something like a bottom, a bottom. And if you find something like uh, a number, for instance, then you need to backtrack to the previous ones and try them again. I don't know if you need to do that immediately, but you need to do that at some point. Um, if, if at the end <coughs> you have hanging ones, then throw an error. Yeah, I think this is the algorithm that we can do without messing up with graphs. So here's one thing. Right now we can overwrite. I don't. This is just a decision. But right now we can do this: x1 and then x2, and then now the value of x is two. Oh, you're up there. Sorry. Yeah, you can overwrite this. You see? You can overwrite. Yeah. I don't. I don't think that's a problem. That's just a choice. Yeah, <laughs> it's a problem for the user, not us. Oh, uh, I don't think it's a problem for the users. So just shadowing like normal let things, right? Yeah, you, yeah, no, but he needs to be aware that the x is not the one. It's true. Yeah. Um, it's a queen show. He doesn't have a problem. Yeah, really. but here's my my only problem. Like, if we're doing this in a random order, that we we start like this process by something in the middle, how we're gonna know which is the shadowing? Oh, no, Wait. okay, you were talking about the Latin. The Latin doesn't have any problems. Yes, the Latin. For that one, star. you are probably adding a oh. bunch more problems. Oh, if you have a shadowing in the Latin star... <laughs> oh, it's like, this variable is no... <laughs> this variable no, I don't is no think you can. I don't think you, that is a possible way for you to do that, that is saying. <laughs> well, well, we could exclude this node of the graph, right? Yeah, okay. We could just, we could just That's filter. Not, it's better for you to give an error for the person then. Like yeah, you can I agree. In this case, it's better to just like map the list. And if there's like a, a binding with the same name, you just re remove it, right? Yeah. But yeah, folks, you spend too much time on this, man. No, but now we know how to start implementing the let's start. Yeah, that's not the how to though. try it, right? Yeah, how to try it. No, man. Anyway. Man, that has yeah, but no confidence at all, man. What the heck? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the other thing is, do we need the one in parallel? Like, will we keep or that or yeah, not? Let's just keep but... that. Yeah, it's not harming okay. us. I hope. So, yeah, like, it's also type checking wise, like, they are also fairly easy. <coughs> the only difference that we have on the last thing that, like, accumulates is regarding the environment, the same thing as we do in the evaluation. Right? Which we're doing? Oh. oh, in both cases we're doing that actually. Wait, what? Accumulation of environment? Yes. That's wrong then. Oh, the parallel should not accumulate environments. Let me see, this is the parallel. So we get 
we insert. Oh, we're, we're not accumulating. Yeah, this is just the resulting thing. It's not accumulating. Yeah, okay, we just add all of them in the end. Wait. Oh. Isn't that when they accumulate? Wait, wait, wait a second, I'm confused now. Like, okay, if it's empty, blah, 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 nothing. Just evolve the body. If it is not, then... We're dismembering stuff, and then we are type checking the expression. What is the expression? It is the first one. Why are we separating? Okay, like we're getting the first one, and then we do... We type check, but we add this value to the environment. Oh, this is not a parallel, really. This is sequential. Is it? Yeah, like we're inserting this latest thing. Variable types. What is? What? Oh, this is like from here, right? Lemus, can you help us? Oh, Lemus. Yeah, I think this. I think all of this is doing is just like, okay, let, let's read line by line. So it first checks the head, you see? Oh ah. man, this is, yeah, this is bad. Okay, so it first gets the head, and then we have all this. And then we bind this expression on the map, you see? So we insert with this label this expression. on the same variable type, which comes from here, this type or env. And then it updates this thing in the env. And then it calls again a let plus. So this is not re until it reaches this case, which is, well, there are no bindings anymore, and then you just evaluate the body with the environment. Wait, I'm still like reading the, the last line. Like, uh, this, so this is, this is literally, uh, let, me yeah. re let me rewrite this. With the... This is doing this. In what types? types? What is variable types? Variable types is our, our thing with a bunch of garbage in there. Wait, what is that bound? Where is that bound, Magita? Uh, it, it comes from this garbage here. Oh, oh shit, that's bad. <laughs> yes, I hate this. Shit, that's bad. Ah, uh, okay. Man, that that. Well, then that's accumulating. Yes, that's what I say. It is just accumulating until it reaches here, where there is no. Then so, this look is at the first one because. So this is sequential. The let in is doing the thing with a for. You get all the expressions. So this okay. is the opposite, oh. and then you fold all of them. With one environment on top of the other. You see? F is equal fold F as defined there, variable types. Is that the initial one? I yeah. guess so. No, no, no. wait. <coughs> so we get all the expressions. The list, I suppose, is the zip thing yeah, with so labels we are, and type expressions. We're getting all of them. Oh, just a second. And then... Just... Okay, sorry, Nata. So, let me go back here. I think I'm... Sorry, Nata, I muted myself. <laughs> so, oopsie. What the heck? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So let me see. The initial value for the fold is the variable types. The name is not. Quite so let, let's go step by step. So we know? get the bindings and then we dismember them by label and expression. All of them together. And then we evaluate each one of these expressions independently. All of them. And then we do fold. We assign this new environment, which is a resulting of this fold. 
with this other f that we're gonna look at right away with these variable types that come from this yeah variable. what is variable types it okay variable types as far as i recall it comes from here it is our map where you have the types first off variable. those name variable types yeah okay okay it's our like aim for the types yeah and then okay well, and then it zips the labels with these typed expressions which are the uh, i was saying evaluated sorry these type checked expressions and then this function is basically picking an accumulator and a label with an expression yeah the name there should not be expression at all we get yes that's a type right yeah and then we get uh and that would be inserting in the map this type with the accumulator as the map okay so it's just like increasing adding... the environment with all the things that we already like yes and then it finally evaluates the body so this should yeah. be the plus the only wrong the other wrong name is the <laughs> the new amp there is not an amp it's just part of the amp yeah so in this sense it should be this right yeah now what's the the meaning of the the name plus man no idea because it's minus it's not plus yes <laughs> let <sighs> minus oh, but minus is weird man like how are you gonna type this oh, that is an easy way to solve man delete this thing <laughs> don't do that do just leave it there it's a piece of flavor <laughs> don't be destructive not a yeah, but you do need names for the user because you need to distinguish in the parser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think we checked everything in the SD, right? Yeah, we were already doing that. Okay, so... Oh, I think I lost the page. Okay, here. Wait, this is light plus here. Yeah, now we should go to types. Oh, shit. Lost the page again. Okay. Yeah. So, let's go to types. Literal. Here this uh, okay yeah so the first thing we have are the the base ones right mm -hmm. so unit integer rational full string okay then the ones that we can give hello. hello uh so let me read the ones that we need from the from the book right uh okay, so what are you guys the, talking about now uh, uh the types now we're checking and by the way this was flipped it was in here and it was plus here but the the functionality is the opposite wait where where are you this is calling for the next one can't you see oh, you are in the typer yeah typer can you follow uh um okay okay what what was wrong so this was the plus and this was the in but it should be the opposite this is the plus because it evaluates the stuff in parallel like all together and this is no, sending. No, 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 it was the, the in is the parallel, the plus is the zero. No, what the heck, man? Yeah. The, what? No, the in That's is what, the that thing is that... what we established before. No, dude, the in is the one that you have a binding on the next. No, that is not the what we discussed before. I can show the recording of that. We can change it now, there's no problem, but before the let in would be the normal list dude, let, which this, is parallel. This is not parallel. Let me just double check where are you. You are in. It's on the discussion about the names, like. Yeah, just discussion about the Not names. Not about what they do. Yeah. So, uh, this. Yeah, no, but this this would be a let plus according to our previous standard. I don't have a problem. You can change the whatever. Oh, whatever, but, man, oh, whatever. But we decide. But before the in was the lisp one, which is parallel. 
Oh, I see the I see the thing. So without any bun any bunnies referring to others, right? Exactly. Why is the list pulling parallel anyhow? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have a bug. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it is what it is. Our is flipped now. Now well, we can our just left remove plus. plus and do let or whatever. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so. No, no. But what we, are we gonna stick with the lisp sender or are we gonna reflip the standard? I I still think in is better to signify that stuff is with the others. Like, I think you are being dependency. biased because of F sharp, so try to see this as this. Now it's going to be natural to you that they need yes, to be in Yes, but parallel. this should be the let plus. Yeah, then, exactly. Then it should be the let plus. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, but Which is this... what we did. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Uh, uh, we are confusing me. So this, to me, should be the in. Because you have the yeah. tendency on, all, on other things that are past defined. No, okay, it makes okay. in because it is in this context you do the, the other things. No, 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 yeah, but... Uh, oh, I, I see the rational. Okay, I see the rational. So, we were thinking of this in as just picking the reference of the body. No, no, we, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Now exactly. it makes total sense, okay. <laughs> but then you so change it, it to way. the OCaml slash F sharp way, which no, now makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but let's keep, let's keep the same way as before. Yeah, okay, so I can... Then we, <laughs> we write on our... Silverware uh, book off topic. in the future. Uh, man, Edu posts are really cute. Like, he has <laughs> his signature on the thing he draw, and he has a cat on the signature, man. <laughs> Just because he has a cat. <laughs> Just yeah, because he has two he cats, has... actually. Just no, no, the cat. signature. I, I, he's saying I think it's good only because it has a cat, but yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. I don't try to deny it. Okay, so what do we are, what we need to do? What you guys are doing? Okay, I will read the types that uh, the book describes about the the core, right, of the types the we need. P uh -huh. appears. Yeah. Uh, so we have the type variable, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We have the arrow that is type to type. Yeah. Okay. The arrow which is type to type. Mm -hmm. We have the. Wow. Oh, holy shit, I forgot to add the, the omega. Uh, so we have a for all, right? Mm -hmm. That has a name, a kind mm -hmm. describing it, yeah. and the type as the body. Yeah, also, yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. then we have the lambda for types. Uh, right? Yeah. That has a name, <laughs> to be bound, a kind describing yeah. it. Yeah. And the type as the body. Yeah. And then we have the application of types, right? Yeah. That is like type type. So. Then literals, right? Yeah. Then the base it, it types. Just as unit and natural there. Uh, can you just check the T for all info if it's the same yeah, thing? Yeah, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Demos was checking. Yeah. Uh, text, oh, okay. kind. Uh, yeah, so we have like literally only the, the base things, right? On our Yeah. On our type. So okay, that makes it easier. So okay, let's test the hell out of this and then Dude, testing Not testing doesn't... writing tests, I mean using. No, I wanna wait, use wait, this. Wait, 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 but I'm confused. Is this is this okay to say that we have Omega? Are you sure? What do you mean? Because as far regarding as I can the tell the types that we need? No, not regarding the types, regarding the whole the no, that's why I want a review and not tests. No, 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 but are we done with the review? review? That's my because question. I yes. don't, yeah, no, but that's the thing. I don't think we are done. Because I think we should go to the oh, type checking. Oh, we didn't checking. see type substitution yet. Yeah, we don't. We didn't do that. Neither kind checking, neither type checking. Wait, what? Oh, type checking? We, we don't did. have no. kind checking? No, no, we have no, we, kind checking, but we, we didn't just didn't check see. It. Yes, but uh, what I'm saying, we checked yeah. the type checking, but we didn't check the kind nor the substitution. No, oh, and the we also as well. And well, we, we also check the type checking. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just see. No, we we check we we check the type checking for a few of them, not all of them. So just go reading all of them. Yeah. So let's I'm start following. with the. Yeah. Let me like send the link to you guys because when I'm checking. It's checking against we know it is right, like the half race. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, that's fine. 
<laughs> well, yeah, then I will send the link to you guys because, like, just me looking at it doesn't make sense, right? Uh, so, how do I send that? I uh, just send on private, and you try, yeah, not to show maybe my get on screen. Uh, don't worry, there are no notifications on Emacs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, what? There are no notifications. There are no notifications on Emacs. You can, there is a mod, there is a package for that though. Oh, notifications. <coughs> so go to page like 450. In the PDF or in the book? The book. Oh, the book? Is it a book PDF? PDF? Like no, no, the book is a PDF, but the page <laughs> yes. if you go to the if you go to the four hundred and fifty in the PDF, that's a page four hundred and thirty in the book. Oh I see. Yeah, in the PDF is the four hundred and Yeah, yeah, I get it. The difference between the print and the PDF, right? Yeah. So it's four hundred and seventy what? Two. Okay. Okay, okay. I see. Okay, I remember this. So, okay, let me narrate and then you check if, uh, if wait, I'm narrating. Wait, wait. <laughs> I am on the abstraction. We get the type annotation for the label on the abstraction. And then we check its kind. Okay. If it's okay, a star, we proceed. If it's, star? if it's otherwise, if it's an arrow, then it's wrong. Yeah, okay, we are doing that. And then if, what else? And then if it is, an, if it is a, a star continuing... We get yeah. on, we insert on the environment the uh, yes. type that makes the type, sense yes. with the label. Yeah. And then we do Where are you reading that by the way? Well Wait folks, I guess I Oh shit, that's the wrong page. <laughs> oh no, wait. Oh, man. <laughs> oh it's the right page. The, just, okay. just, the, let's just do this, Nathan. Like just I read for us. The... Just yeah. I'll, I'll go reading and you'll confirm, okay? So no no isn't better the opposite? Well, me reading and you confirm. So I reading the reference and you like saying yeah, the quotation is correct. Is yeah, I, no. yes, it does. Read Nathan, read Nathan. Me and my ghetto are gonna check here. Uh, so, kinds, and I want to know how to read that. Uh, okay, so kinds like do we have only the two that we need, the star and the arrow of kinds? Yes, right? yes. yes. Okay, he also talks about context. Like in our context, we have like 21 or a bind that is saying the type of something or a bind that is said the kind of something, right? The way yes. we I achieve this both. is in both like different maps, right? Yes. Yeah, we, these that's are why this, this member uh, Okay, so yeah. he has evaluation. We don't care about that right now. Uh, he has kinds. Holy shit, he has a bunch of stuff, yeah. So, kind. Uh, what about kind, kind checking a variable, right? We basically... No, dude, get like, in focus, the on the, focus on the type check, and then we go for the kind checking later. Yeah, yeah, so, that, that's the that. So, type. Okay, so the typing of a variable is just checking if we have it in the environment. What's Otherwise, it? we can yeah. fail it. Okay, yeah, just check. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is exactly that. Right. Okay. So now the type checking of uh, of abstraction, right? Okay. We need to kind check. Wait, we need to kind check yeah. the parameter type. Yeah. And it needs to be a star. Go. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> now we extend the environment. Yeah. Uh, with the name of the parameter and the type of the parameter. Go. We yeah. use that to type check the body of the lambda. Yeah. Go. The result of that is the right side of the arrow and the yeah. left side of the arrow is the well, type parameter, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Application. Yeah. Wait. Oh, but Wait, there's, there, yeah, there's some gotchas, I guess. There's light differences that we have the result type we predict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have differences because we have the yeah, maybe in the middle. but we just reduce middle. and then we check. Yeah. Wait, what is the part that... Wait, some of those that I... Uh, that I, like, already said here. Do we have, like, reducing any of the, those? 
No, in the, the ones that you said, we don't. Okay, yeah. Now, do we need to, like... Yeah, we need to because we have our extension of having the return uh, type annotation. Yeah, that's the only place we're using the reduce. Yeah, but something something okay, that I am very... Two okay, two questions, I guess. Uh, the first question is, besides the extension, do we need to reduce, right? I don't think so. It's just an abstraction. We're not applying something to it, right? We don't yeah, not, we don't... We're not conforming two things. We yeah, are we are not like... comparing, right? In any... yeah. No, we're not conf uh, comparing. So, okay, now that we have the extension, then we need to reduce those, right? Can you show me the, the extension part that we are treating? It's only on the abstraction, right? Yes. Okay. And an E-type abstraction. No, no, I mean, of the ones that I already like. Read, yeah. Read. Yeah, it is just the part that Magetta is highlighting. Ah, uh, so what is this expression that you are... Yeah, oh, so the body, after, right? This is yeah, the body, after yeah, this we is type body. check the body, we Reason check time. if it's a, a maybe or a just or nothing, and if it's a just, then we reduce it with the, the one that we got, the type annotation. Um, ah... Then, oh, let's go on the nothing first. So we didn't input that thing, so we just get what we have, right? And then yeah, we, yeah. If we type you don't chat, annotate, we just return what we got. And then this thing... Oh, wait, this is wrong. Oh, right? that's a match on the return type. Not yeah, the not on the result. Time. This is wrong. No, no, that's not wrong. Oh, no, no, that's no, no, wrong. No, no, this no, is sorry. correct. I was mistaken. Oh, I, 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 got, I, I also got... I, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I also... Okay. <laughs> I, for a moment, I said, man... What this the heck are you doing? And then I, I just I just clicked <laughs> and it didn't highlight, so it was confused. Yeah. Anyway, so, so the nothing case, see, the nothing of we didn't annotate with anything, we can just like return it, right? Yeah. Yes. Not reducing it, by the way. Okay. Yeah. And, and, then and if we have a return type annotation, then we need to reduce it because they can be equally reduced but different in in like in the beginning of yeah, the process. And we assume that if you typed the thing and it could reduce, then we assume that that's what you want, right? I'm gonna have to leave for more for a little bit a little bit more again. Sorry. Uh, <coughs> continue. Continue. Go. So like, if they are not equal, then you have the error. Otherwise, you have the type prime because that's the type parameter mm -hmm. and you have the rt that is the non-reduced type annotation right yes but here's the distinction like if yeah, you if sense. you typed something that is that is already reduced and you needed to reduce the and you rt need it to reduce. let's suppose that they are the same type but this is not reduced and the annotated type is reduced okay so the problem here is that we would be returning an arrow to a type that is not reduced, although the annotated type is different. I don't think it's a problem, it's just confusing. Wait, can, can you go again? I'm a bit lost. Okay, let me make here. So let's suppose we are annotating that it's an integer to... I'll use like annotation uh, reduction or like alias, I think it's easier. So we are annotating... This should be the annotation of the function, right? It should return integers. So okay, you are saying, saying that's the parameter type and the yes. return type as annotations, right? Yes. Not so, the actual Yes, type. yes, yes. It picks a an integer and it spits an integer. But then we annotated it, uh, like it actually inferred to be something like the result. Uh, the body is actually returning something like, um, um, I don't know, uh, int 32. I don't know. That's an alias to integer. Let's think that way. That's what we infer on the body, right? Yes, and they are equal. Okay, they are equivalent. What would happen here is that when you reduce, they're going to both be integer, right? Oh, okay. That's what we infer. They're going to both be int 32, right, in this case. Integer would be the alias. So, it's... It would be the alias. Yeah, so... Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, so this would not be reduced, do you agree? And we are reducing. But the, the other would not be reduced. No, no, well, wait. Uh, this RT spot. here, RT, is not reduced. It's the integer. This is the annotation. Okay. okay. The not reduced, okay. And we are reducing it. Yeah. And then what we're doing, we're reducing, and we are also reducing the other one. And we compare, and it's fine. It is the same type, okay. and we proceed. But look at what we are returning. RT. I am back. Yeah, yeah. We need to return the non-reduced one. Yeah, but here's the... The trick. 
the user annotated, right? So I think mm -hmm. we should give priority to return the type the user annotated. In this but that's case. what we are doing. That's what we're doing. Is it? The return? Yeah. Okay, this is the... It's because uh, the names to... are, are confusing. Yeah, that's true. Are... No, I, I got out of ideas when we already used return type here and I wanted to use here, so... But yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah, I that's... Like the... Yeah. Uh, okay, so type application, right? This one, I guess we have more... More, like... Type application. Weird stuff to, to keep in mind. Yeah, here. Uh, <sighs> Go. Okay, so you have a left side and a right side <laughs> of expression, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And the first thing you do is to type check the left side, yeah. right? And you will receive a type that you need to check if it's an arrow type. But wait, for that... Wait, 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 wait. Don't we need to reduce in any of that process? That's what I'm about to say. Oh, okay. So we need to check if it's an arrow type. But because of... How can I... See? Because it could be a variable that has its type in the context, and the type in the context could be an application, we need to reduce the left side type before matching to see if it's an error. Yeah, if after type checking, we reduce and then we check for the error, yeah. Okay, then we need to get the type of the argument, right? Then yeah. we also need to reduce it Oh, because it could wait, also wait, be wait, a wait, 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 wait. We need to pick, you said the type of the argument, right? Yeah, we have the argument and we get its type, right? Then this type needs to be reduced also. We are not doing that. Yeah. What and we are doing is, after yeah, having the type checking the expression and reducing its type, we check for the, the arrow, which in our case is a, is a for all. And if it is, we can check the type of the argument. What? We uh, can check? Wait, 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 wait. Am I saying crap? You are is talking this about prime? the E-type application. Yeah, we are talking about the E-type application. No, dude, I'm talking about the application. Just application. I'm pretty sure you said type application. Yes, I was sure as well. And then I was like... Okay, I was no, lost. No. Like, okay, what is it talking about? But, no, no, maybe what? Okay, maybe what happened is because in the annotations on the side to describe the rules, it has like T application. <laughs> so yeah, probably I said it wrong. Yeah, but the beginning is the same. Okay, so we pick the the left part, we type check. Oh, we okay. Now it. it's right. We are picking the arrow. We yeah, we check for it, the arrow. Check if it's an arrow. Then we. Then we type check the argument the type. Argument, reduce it as well. Reduce it, then we you can compare. Continue. Okay. Compare and then return the result type. That's it. Yeah, this one's pretty straightforward. What the heck is result type, by the way? Oh, it is yeah, in the, it is the inside the T arrow. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me just take a look on this code. Ah. Say, <laughs> say again, type check. The function reduce the yeah. function. If is the variable. function is the function arrow type. If it is, then you type check the type argument, check the, reduce yeah. the argument, compare yeah. the argument with the uh, with the parameter type of the arrow. Yeah. If they are the same, you pick the output of the arrow, the target. Yeah. And then you speed. That, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. So a question that was raised, I guess was if we need to reduce the parameter type before doing this check, right? The parameter oh. type. Do we need to reduce the parameter type? Oh, so yes, let's see. Let's suppose, can, can you guys write a, a lambda that results in a type? That results in a t-arrow? Results in a t-arrow? Well, let, let me write that. In it's time. a lambda? I guess you do because it could be the result of another expression that is not fully reduced. No, not if you can, but to write for us can think of one. I think it's what is this what you want? Wait, I you write here. That's a good it's, question. It's a type of arranger. So if you be like <coughs> 
No, that's not, that's not gonna work, my friend Magetta. Oh no, you gotta be kidding. Yeah. Reduced. That. Oh, that's literally what we faced with Erlang, by the way. This. No, no, but wait. You forgot the name. That was the name of the function. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the name of the function. That's, that's important. Yeah. Let me just double check if reduce type actually returns. Yeah, yeah, it does. Cool. There are so f fucking much. There are so much errors, man, in the, <laughs> the notation that I'm doing here. Oh. It could be worse, man. Ah, uh, no, cannot be worse, right? Oh. I think we need. To, I, I have a feeling that we need to reduce the parameter type. Because they Sorry, my example, it's, it's my example is bad. My example is bad. Let me just rewrite it again. Yeah, it doesn't need even to be an example. Like, if it's a comparison and you're trying to compare with something that is a return of another expression, then you do. No, no, it's because... Well, it to be clear with that example, but I'm thinking about we are doing the full normalization of the type of the variable that is an application, right? Yeah. Yes. What about if the parameter is also complex, like it's also an application, Right? Mm -hmm. Will the normalize normalize everything so we don't need to reduce the parameter? Like that's the question, right? So no, maybe no, but, you don't need to no, reduce no, the No, no, but that, that's the thing. I think Magetta's rule is actually fair. Like if you want to compare types, um you need to be sure they are reduced. So the, I think that the question is, is the parameter type of the error always reduced? Well, that's the thing. If you are doing the full normalization it would be always reduced. And sure, that would not really matter if our repo like had the thing embed, right? Yeah. And if it's fully reduced, no matter like how long, it will not be that expensive, I guess, to do the substitution. But since we are not on those cases, I'm just <laughs> checking if that would happen or not. But shit, man, the thing is very nasty to run. So, <laughs> that's it. Condition, yeah, condition is stupid. We check the condition. <laughs> Good no, yeah, so just to guarantee, like, put a reduce on, on that parameter type, yeah, like, really it doesn't did. cost Yeah, anything. we already did. Oh, you did? Nice. Yeah. So okay, next one, next one, what else? is the next one? I don't think condition is on pierces, but it's... Yeah, but it's let's... No, neither the, the, right? neither the U operation and uh, uh, the let. Uh, uh, we are reducing both, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, so something something to be aware is that I I want to know I want to know when in which particular cases of the ST of the expression data type we need to apply kind checking. I think that's the question that we stumbled upon last time. Wait. Um, that is a funny thing on that 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 example market. I don't think we need to return the reduced type. Oh, hear me. Yeah, I guess we only want the the then branch oh, type, yes, right? that's true. Yes. Without being reduced. Yeah, that's absolutely true. No, but the, then we, the then branch is just to compare. <laughs> no, Why? but it sucks because, because you have this, to do binding? this is an expression, guys. No, then no, branch no. type. Exactly. So, yeah, okay. But then you're gonna have to do like then. Yeah, branch. then you need to do a bind. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no, you're gonna have to reply apply again the same crap. No, dude, what I mean by bind is like putting a name on it, not binding on it. Yeah. Name range type. Oh, but you are doing the computation twice twice because you want to. No, dude. No, but no, now no. I'm trying to think how Just to Just remove make this. this. Yeah. <laughs> No, we need the that to compare. Dude, you just make you a new bind. You do two different phases, right? Do this. Why can't I? Cut. Oh, Ctrl X on Emacs. Do like in two steps, lemons, right? This? So you have the intermediate value. Copy, copy that name. No. Yeah, I already did poo poo, I know. Then branch poo -poo. type is this. Reduced. Yes, thank you. And then type. And then. And then you put then type. Then, then, then type. Great. Yes. <laughs> Dyslexia. Okay. <laughs> Dyslexia. <laughs> and then here we return that. Okay. Yeah.
So, okay, we are doing the type damage. checking of the dam branch. Then we have a diff. Wait. Oh, we should why also is that a bind? The else. Wait, wait, wait. Why is that a bind? That is not a. That should not be a bind on the. Yeah, this page. shouldn't be a bind. Yeah, okay. This shouldn't be a bind. So we have the reduced. Wait, wait, but why do we need that with the else? We don't need the intermediate value. Like. Yeah, we don't need that with the else. I'm gonna get that. No, Only with should the display there a message? I think so. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Fancy. yeah, that's, no, yeah, that's important. You like simpletons. I'm thinking ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we using the cone type for anything aside from... Just imagine these people no, we're not. not doing proper okay, so error messages. Okay, so we can messages. just do the reverse bind stuff. Yeah, I guess that in all of our messages, we don't need to use the reduce, right? Yeah, it would be weird. Like, what is what is the compiler talking about? Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't necessarily know the result. If the keys of an ADS, for example. Mm -hmm. So that message also, oh, right, wait. that you are highlighting? Oh, wait, yeah, this needs to be you. the non-reduced. Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just did this. Ah. Okay, so you're gonna have to do um, this and then reduce type env and cone type. And this needs to be cone oh, type. People like to read from right to left. <laughs> but wait. Right to left. Oh, because of because usually we do the not flipped um, bind stuff. And then this. Like with oh, everything, great. like composition, application, and shit, like you guys like to <laughs> right to left I, or something. I think that's anime influence. That's no, there's what? nothing to do with that. <laughs> oh, you know, you know Omega, the right? You know that Bene would say that, right? No, <laughs> Bene would totally say that. Yeah, but I don't really care about Bene in this case. So, okay, we... Wait, did we check the application? Yes. yes. Okay. So now the type abstraction. Okay. He, here is written like T T abstraction. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible, man. Yeah. So okay, the expression. Uh, Wait, like, how much time we are in this thing, Maget? Uh, on the session, I think. Yeah. Two hours now. But I'm fine, man. It's Friday. Let's party. <laughs> okay, you go. Not. <laughs> And I have to take a second for that. That's your notion of pi? Really? <laughs> yes. But let's go back. <laughs> well, don't you get out of work on a Friday night and you say, oh, let's do compilers? I'm yeah. unemployed, Magita. What are you talking about? Man? Oh, man. <laughs> that, that literally just like went, the level of the conversation just went like doomer. <laughs> Okay, but let's go back. Uh, so the... F what the fuck is that? Uh, give me just a start. Like, that's the one that receives a pie and returns a an expression, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we have the kind describing the, like, variable to be bound, right? Yeah. Okay, everyone went silent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe sounds... maybe what I'm seeing here is not the for all man. Maybe it's the lambda of like types. Uh how do I know that? Yeah. I guess it doesn't have maybe the system F stuff here on this this thing. Let me try to find any clue of that. Oh, we no, but some are you looking at the, the types, like uh, the, the judgments? Yeah, the judgments for the types. Yeah, because in I the table he's Wikipedia. saying expanding system math. Look at Wikipedia. So, yeah. So what we... Dude, but that doesn't make any sense. That needs to be the for all, because we cannot type the, the type. Yeah, that's the for all, yeah. That's the for all for sure. <laughs> Who cannot type the type? Yeah, not <laughs> What are you talking about? No, no, yeah, because this is the judgments for typing. 
Yeah, the so, one we're checking the for all is the type application. Which one you were? The abstraction or application? Uh, like go to the page 451 and I look into the, the right. Oh, okay. I mean, I have so, the book, but I, it's on my page. <laughs> so what I mean is we have a session type. I was confusing myself if it was the lambda on types or if it, or if it was the for all expression. But it needs to be the for all expression. Because it doesn't make sense to type the type, right? Yeah. So, okay, let's go. You guys are there on the... E-type type, abstraction? Typing the E-type abstraction, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, it has a kind describing its parameter, right? Mm -hmm. And we extend the environment with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, are you putting in the correct, like, yes. app? Yes. 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 There is no way. There is no way. We use that environment to type check the body of the yeah. 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 And then we return the type as a for all type. Yeah. Okay, where the parameter name and parameter kind are the same as the expression. Wait, repeat the last part? Uh, we return from the function of type checking a for all type. Yeah. I don't know how it's written. The return there. and the parameter are the same. And yeah, the parameter and parameter kind are the same as yeah. the expression that was given. Yeah, okay, so we're getting the RT, which is the return type. Wait, that, oh shit, we also have the type of... Yeah, 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 that's why I wanted I want yeah, to skip that. Yeah, but the normal case... Take a look on the code. No, no, but the normal case is what he said. Like, it's just this, if you don't have it. You see? No, but he said something about two things being equal. That's what I got confused. Uh, oh, it, I didn't. Yeah, it I'm 100% was... sure he said that, oh, this is the same as that. Yeah, yeah, but in the sense of uh, you will return what you already have, not in checking the quality. Not checking what? Not checking equality. Oh, okay, no, then that sense, yes. Okay, then we are okay. So, yeah, we extend the thing, we type check the body. In the case in which you don't have a notation, we just return the for all with the for all info being the same label, uh, the same kind. Yeah. And the result type, yes. Now the, <laughs> the extra, right? Yeah, the extension. <laughs> in the case in which you have an annotation, uh, first thing we should do is to can we check that annotation. Wait, that that's exactly what I wanted. We we need to add type check kind checking at some point. That's what the problem was the problem before. Yeah, that's true. We just reduced the thing. Wait, 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 are we doing the kind checking on the annotation of the normal abstraction? No, I, I, as far we as I need, remember. Yeah, we need to, yeah. No, no, no wait, to. maybe I'm wrong. We are doing kind checking the normal abstraction. We are. Kind checking on the return type that was annotated? I mean, we're just no, return. No, we we're are never kind checking. checking. Well, well, folks, wait. Describe the algorithm again, Nata. Okay. We extend the environment, and then we just send this kind environment to a new, t we get a new type, but we do not do a kind check. No, 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 but this part of the process yeah, is written in the book. Okay. Yeah, we, this part that I'm highlighting, this and this line here, uh -huh. this is already okay in regards to the book, the reference. The problem is that because so of the extension, what saying is we, we need, need to be kind creative. check this RT with the annotated type. The annotated uh -huh. RT and return type, uh, the result type, okay. We need to kind uh -huh. check those two, is that it, what are you saying? No, 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 just the annotations. The annotations yeah, of annotations. return types, they need to be kind checked and the see if they are star. Of return types. And they oh, that makes total stars. sense. That makes total sense. Yeah, the, who needs to be a. Uh, okay, who needs to be an arrow kind is the application, right? Uh, arrow kind is the application. I, I, I think so, yeah. Wasn't it, wait, I'm, wasn't I'm it the opposite? No, 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 wait. Wasn't it the opposite? The E-type abstraction should return a, a arrow kind? Wait, folks, like, for all situations, 
uh, if we are returning an expression oh, it's just and we have a notation for that, its kind check needs to result in a star. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of the entire expression, which is not the case. I'm doing the E abstraction. Do the E type abstraction again. The E type abstraction? Yeah. Where you That's the one that we are. I get that. Okay, uh, dictate to me, and I'll do it like a monkey. Okay, you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't so... think we need, though, because I am almost done, so we can just copy-paste it. Okay. Yeah, it's literally the same. Yeah. So instead of being this, it's gonna be... <laughs> <that. laughs> oh, it could be worse. could be way worse. could be a lot worse. It could be a lot better. <laughs> kind error. With exceptions, right? Like, okay. So, no. annotated... Oh, not even with exceptions. Annotated yeah. uh, return type. Well, all of our type. code could be in a try-catch block, Nathan. <laughs> oh, yeah, think about that, right? Uh, has kind... Um, and No. Should be... Should be... Re annotated return type should have kind star... But it has the this. user. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Others. What? Yeah. Okay. They do this and right on the right anymore. <laughs> Others. Others. <laughs> let's copy this thing and let's go to the type of why the s man isn't just other no it's because it can be as uh, an arrow to an arrow to an arrow yeah, not at the same there time is this not other, at the same time this <laughs> where is the type abstraction down here here the fuck are we doing <laughs> <laughs> think about it Think about it. So, uh, <laughs> like, stop and think about what you're doing, man. Okay, so. I didn't reach the conclusion think, that we're mad. Thinking is overrated. Just think about thinking it. Thinking is overrated. I mean, don't think no, about it. <laughs> yeah, don't think about <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then we pick this. So we this. kind of. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. No, this. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay. Yeah. I th yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. Whoa! Wait. Oh, wait. wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. This, oh, this is just this, though. Alright. And these also are wrong. Oh wait, we have to take care of some stuff, man. Uh, like? Yeah, yeah, like the environment that you are using to kind of check the annotation. Because maybe you are introducing something in the environment that should not be there. Then you would not have the out of scope error when you should. Wait. We're just introducing the kind we just added. There. Yeah. Yeah, then... that's my question. I but that's a good bet, question. I would bet that you want the the first environment, the not in, the not extended one. To do what? To do the comparison the, between the, them, or to no, kind check the annotation? To kind check the annotation. Oh, okay. Because why would you have access to the previous one? Yeah, makes sense. Oh, that makes total sense now. That now like, that you said they it don't better. depend, right? On... Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Ah, oh shit! Ah, oh, oh, oh. dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, actually it depends. On the abstraction, it doesn't. But only oh, for all, it does, as we talked about previously. Wait, wait, why in the abstract it doesn't what? Okay. Oh, okay, because on the for all we have dependence between the others, right? So you still yes. need... On the abstraction, we don't. It's like lose. Exactly. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. We can introduce stuff yeah. in the but for all stuff. on these ones, we also should change to aim them. No, no, no. Is, isn't this should be the new one? Because this is That's the result, so this doesn't matter, right? Yeah, just this. Wait, folks. Why do we need the... 
Wait, 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 what is this new wing? Oh, wait, w wait, say it again, Ata. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, what is the nth doing on the reduce side and also which one we should use in each case of reduction, reduction, right? The reduction needs the environment. That's some. That's 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 correct. No, no, no. You are saying about the functional signature, but maybe we implemented it wrong, right? <laughs> that's that's what possible. I mean. uh, so okay, first let's do the kind checking of the annotations, right? This one is the E type abstraction. Like we are using the extended one, right? Because it can depend on the parameter. Oh, we but... need the environment in the redu the reduction. Because the T application requires kind checking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. That's. Uh... No, now yeah. I am confused. How the kind checking doesn't need the environment? Uh, okay. So, the, you see the kind checking that we are doing on the reduction? That's just a workaround that I did, so we don't have to implement the proper reduction. <laughs> right? To prevent us to having three variables there. See? Oh! I remember mm. that. I remember that. Wait, yeah. By the way, let me read. now I know how to do the proper like substitution, so we would not need that like, oh. work around oh, anymore. Oh, I get it. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, but well, that's I... not changes now, man. Because... No, okay, that's yeah. not changes now. Continue, continue talking what we were, we were talking before. Okay. <sighs> So let's just finish the type abstraction, right? Abstraction, yeah. We are so the question is, checking. which environment we should use to, so, to compare the... Yes, this yeah, kind. Yeah, that's the question. Yes. Ave, here I guess. No, no, no that I was don't already answered. Yeah, this that's is the, the new one. one. Because you can introduce yeah. stuff. Wait, to the annotated kind? Yeah, you can use the, in the return type. It's not bad, man. It's no, the kind return of the annotated kind. thing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Notated kind, yes, the game is done. <laughs> okay, now regarding the reductions, right? Yeah, now the question is, oh, I see. should these environments yeah, should use sense. the old one or the new one? The result? Yeah, so the question is... Yeah, they do add... need... I, I think, think they do need this... to use the new one. Yeah, they do need because in both yeah, they will use the thing that was introduced and the kind needs to be there. Otherwise, it will fail. Yeah, okay. So the abstraction works differently than the E type abstraction. Yeah, now let's go to the abstraction, right? <laughs> yeah. So the abstraction we have, uh, uh, we are using the old one for. Wait, wait the... uh, Magita, can you go to. Like, 956. 56? Yeah. 56 here yeah. oh, okay you gotta you gotta change this right yeah so uh i'm using the old environment to check that not the, the return type annotation because we can't introduce new stuff with only abstraction so yeah, i think it makes, we makes sense <laughs> we can't even like do this right yeah yeah and for the, I didn't change the, the comp, for the comparison though. So I, I, it is using the new one. Does that wait, make sense? A, wait, wait, actually, uh, like you, you kind of could, right? Because see, uh, in the annotation uh, just of thing, the return. I will go for like 50 minutes. I don't know if we're still going to back. If we're not back, Lemus will have to cut the video. Can, no, can you pause? <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, are you using OVS? Yes. Wait, okay, what? so there's a pause button in yes, the yes. Meta X and having like OBS. <laughs> and my program is right <laughs> when... <laughs> Is it weirder for me to do this and have VS code on Emacs? I'll see this again. Yeah, weird is one way to describe it, right? Yeah, like, I have everything. Right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Lemus, if you take a look on the book, the typing part, I guess the printing is a bit confusing, right? Uh, if you take a look on the T slash T app, like what is what is that on the left? Wait, you're talking about page 451, right? Yes. So where so, do you guys stop what you're doing now? 
So we no. What we are doing is that we finish type e type abstraction. We are one hundred percent sure it is working fine. One hundred. You are old as fuck. <laughs> no, we are one hundred because we, you said we are pretty That's much done. That's bullshit. Man. No, you said you are pretty much done. Yeah, I didn't say one hundred percent. Yeah, no, but I am saying that you said that because it is what it is. Oh, then what is it? And, and then mm -hmm. and then I said to my to Nathan that I remembered what the problem that we had the other day. The problem that we had over the day is that we were uncertain in which type checking like nodes of the ST we need uh, kind checking. We were un mm -hmm. un uncertain about that before. <coughs> and we know that, well, and then we started discussing that the, if the operators need and if the, let need, the lets need. Mm -hmm. And as far as we can tell, uh, I, and I agree with this, I'm not just saying that because Manhattan said, operators don't need kind checking. Yeah. And Nathan is uncertain about the lets, and then but we're gonna discuss that later after E-type application. Which yeah, is but what we are doing. one guess of mine is if that like the question is if we need types there for some reason, and if we do, then we need to kind of check, right? I think the lets. Oh, dude, that's something we are not. How are we typing the let? Because here's the thing: what is the type of the let? It is the type of the body, right? Let's go there. The type of the let is the type of the body. The type of the let is the type of the body. Yeah, it, we are doing oh, that. Yeah, line 48 a, and line 50. Yeah, it's, it's an expression, right? It is the yeah. same as an abstraction, I guess. It's almost the same. With case. an application. Without. It's the same case of an abstraction, but without a parameter. I guess it's more like an abstraction being applied immediately. I agree with Nathan that my being understanding applied? is that. A, yeah, because a let is basically. Like, you have the parameters, right, which is the binds, mm -hmm. and then you have the body. It's almost like you are applying the just created binds to that body. Yeah, you see? You, okay, but I was thinking of something like an abstraction that already has stuff in the context, but that's the same thing, yes. That's the same thing. Well, so That's probably the reason why we don't need type annotations, right? Type annotations? What do you mean? Yeah, like, things... Well, you do... Okay, if we're type checking properly, we just type check the body, which we're doing here and here. No, so no. I think what I mean is, we don't need type annotations on the bindings. No, we are, but we we don't we are, don't have that. I think. Yeah, but I'm just saying that we I don't think, need. I think, think that we. we I think we optionally have them. We do. we optionally have them. What? We're talking no, about not type the annotation SD. on the bindings. Yeah, type type annotation on the bindings of the let. Okay, like to, be, to be more one. precise. To be more precise, we don't need required ones, but if you want to add optional ones for the same reasons that you have, like, in other stuff, right? But, man, no, I would we not... Don't. We don't, yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't, we don't need, like, required ones, but we could put, like, optional ones, right? Yeah, but that's going to suck, I guess, yeah, because I'm going to have to that check. Because, yeah, it's more <laughs> no, than <laughs> So, let's finish the... the the application, man. Yeah, okay. Type can, application. Can, you like a, can, can you take a look on the book? Because it's a bit confusing for me. Like I'm trying to figure out where the type application is. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. TT app. <coughs> uh, yeah, the name is TT. I oh, I guess that the thing there is like on top and bottom should be left and side, left what's and the, right. What's the page? Oh, page 451 in the book and 473 in the PDF. I see. 400 in? 73 in the PDF. No, in printing. No, the book is 451. Yeah, so I I think that this, the, the two things on top of each other, they are both for the T application. Yeah, yeah, what is on top should be on the left, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the person got out of space, I guess. So you're looking anyway, at... so what do you... Uh, oh man, I don't remember how to read this anymore. T1 is what? It's an expression. <coughs> it's an expression? That, that has isn't... the type on the right. Oh, okay. Under okay. the context of the left, of the weird thing there. Okay, but what is your question about that? 
No, no, my question was, what the fuck was the line on top of the other? Oh, That's it is all? Oh, okay. Now we know. Yeah, okay. So, okay, the first thing we do is that we have a function and an argument, right? Yeah. So the first thing we should do is should type check the function, right? Which line are, is that? Is the, is the first one? The first one. It's the first one where there is the gamma, blah, 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 and t. Is that it? Yeah, so... I'm trying to try re remember how to read that. What is, what is how can you read that is type checking there? Yeah, Magenta. What is I, this, I, I, dude? I'm to explain that. Later. What is this uh, gray thing? Oh, uh, like things that were added on the omega from the app. Oh, okay, additions. So extension. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so later you can explain to me how to read. Oh, no, Mag Magenta can. Can do like quickly and, and <laughs> can I regarding you can you did for me uh, oh, I like guess. the notation of premises and oh, okay uh, so the first line is the introduction so you have in, think of it as like in pure functional way like on Nixus uh, I'll explain using Nixus you uh, have let the guy just throw <laughs> the ring on the easy way to explain you have let you have let in and then expression right. So yeah. this is the introduction for the for the part. So the first line are the requirements that you need to make uh, to meet. So if you meet these requirements, you follow with the the other judgment down there. No so, wait, but there there are two lines of stuff before yeah, the, the horizontal bar, right? Yes. The, no, 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 no. There no, is it's only one. one. It's only one. There is only it's one. As we say, so like one thing at, is on the left, the other is on the right. Look at the grayish. Thing. No, no, no. The, the, the thing that the line that is on top is that the left part? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it is Wait, a function. Which then. one you're looking at? TTF. TTF. It's the. <laughs> above <laughs> the T. <laughs> Why is this funny, man? It's above <laughs> the T -ek, right? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> it, there is only one, which is the gamma and tails 2, having a T2. No, but there is a kind. thing on top of that, right? No, that that thing is from. <clears throat> oh, there is another thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so there are two things. Okay, I think they just ran out of space because it's. Ex too big. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's usually on the on the sides, but that's fine. Yeah. So yeah, so they let gotta... me try it, Magita. Let me try this time. Uh, so the first notation that you have, it's the one on the first line, right? Yeah. You have the gamma, you have a weird, like, T thing, like, laid down, so right? It's turnstile, the name. It what is the name of that? Turnstile, that means entails. Ent okay, gamma entails T1. Yeah, but I think that's a... Man, if From that really context, means entails, that's a bad in name, that, because... In, in the introduction, that's that means... From this, from this context, isn't, it entails that, and then you read the thing. Yeah, it entails that T1 is a function that grabs an X, is that it? In this case, since it's an introduction, if is if it entails that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, I guess it makes sense the thing to use in the phrase. But yeah, okay. like another well, way to say would be that <laughs> under this specific context, yeah, this I remember term that. Yeah. has this type on the right. Yeah, so it is the, the type so is a function, is that correct? It's a relation. Okay. The what? No, continue. It's a relation of three elements, right? Okay. So you have a context, mm -hmm. you have a term, and you have its type. That's the, the relation. Okay. And, well, you know what is the context, right? It's just mm -hmm. another relation of names and its types, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. So, okay, that's the judgment for types. And the, the whole thing, like the uh, the horizontal, the horizontal line, is just saying, oh, if those premises are met, then the bottom thing like follows, right? No, then yeah, I, no, that part I got it. I, I'm, I'm oh. still trying to understand what what the first line says. Is that in this context, uh, in have, it entails if it entails that you have a T one that has the yes. type for all x, you have yes. a kind one one. I don't know why the numbers. Yes, okay, but you have that's that fine. Kind, whatever. Uh, and then in a, uh, another 
that where this thing uh, replies a T one two. Why are these numbers, man? Not the. Uh, it's to differentiate. Like I if just, you know okay. they are the same. Okay, okay. but the T one two is the return. Yeah, T one two. That's the return of the for all. Oh, right? okay. So it is in the context. In the context, gamma. It entails that we have a, t, a term T one. That it is a, a for all x, which is with this kind returns a t one two. And another thing that is a t yes. two that yes. is a kind a one one. So yes. The same kind. So if they have the same kind, it follows that t one. I think in this notation here, he's using that substitution. And I lost my guitar. Uh, hello. The hello. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, you go, you cut off. Oh, nice to nice. have you back. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, I think I was saying that uh, I think what he means on these uh, squared brackets here is substitution. Is that it, Nathan? That you think as well? It's the application. Okay. The substitution is with the slash, I think, right? On his notation. So substitution is what they have on the right side of the column. Right side okay. of the column. Okay. Yeah, where okay. what it means. The, the first mm -hmm. line of the TT app, I think this is the left part of the application. And the set, the, the, the middle one, before the bar, but in the, the, the second line, that is the right part of the T application. Yeah, yeah. the function and the argument, right? Yeah. So, uh, now the conclusion. It entails that uh, T1 has type T2. Is that, is that how you read it? No, no, no. Um, not really. uh, that's the syntax for application, where... T1 is what you like, like what you, well, what you know, mm. and the T2, uh, it's a term, the T1, and the T2, the uppercase T2, mm -hmm. it's a type. Yeah, right? it's the type that, of That's the argument. That comes from so, the for all. Okay. Yeah, but then we are applying the T2 to T1. Yeah, yeah it's it applied the T1 on the T2, I guess, but yes. That's confusing because... <laughs> the function this, is applied on the argument. This notation is a little different, but uh, it's the it's the like remember our show. That's yeah. the same thing, I guess, right? It's like applying this. I should know that it's a type, right? Yeah. Okay, but then I have a question. What is on the right side? <laughs> what is after the uh, column? Yeah. Uh, okay. So that is the type uh, of this expression. So you have like brackets, and you have some after the brackets, right? Okay? The after the brackets is the target. Yeah. So the return? You have, yeah. No, no. Target, oh, yes. I mean... It's the resulting well, type for this expression. It's what the substitution is being made on, right? Where it's being made on. But yeah, it's the result. Like, the, the whole thing after the column, it's what's the type of it all, right? The, yeah. Of the whole left side. <laughs> but what I mean is, you have the brackets and... After the brackets, you have the T12, right? Yeah. The T12 is the target in which I will send to the substitution. Mm -hmm. So X is what I'm looking for. T uppercase 2 is what I will substitute to. Mm -hmm. And the T12 is my target, right? Where I'm yeah. substituting. On the X. Okay, so you're going to replace T12 in X, X by T2. Yeah. Um, Wait, can you repeat that? As far as I can tell, uh, you're gonna up s replace swap every single instance of T2 with T12. No, it no, is no. X, right? You will substitute every instance of X yeah. for T2 in T12. Oh, okay. So it's the opposite of what I said. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This I, I didn't like. I, I didn't like in my Nathan's presentation. I, I also. Said... Like here. <laughs> I think you said right the first time, and then you said the opposite. Uh, maybe, but anyway, now I can try <laughs> to understand what we need to do. So the th the first thing that we need to do is to well, the first thing that we are doing in the code is to pick the left part, which is the for all x function. We are type checking that, and then we are reducing that. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. We are reducing that, yeah. And we kind check. That's right. Oh no, wait. No, wait, wait, we're wait. still not kind the... checking yet. Yeah, that's in the for all. This so the then kind. we check if it's a for all, which makes sense, I guess, because it's a for all x. And then we get. Then we kind check 
Wait, the... dude, like this type. Oh man, this is horrible. Like this type quote is the argument, right? No, you can replace if you want. Yeah. It's the type you're passing through it. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, then after we discover that the okay. left part is a T for all, We're then we back. can check the right part. Yeah. And then right. we compare to see if they have the same kind, which makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and then, if they are equal, <coughs> then we apply type substitution. Type substitution, but with this type on the body. So every single place that we have x, we need to replace that. Yeah, uh, which is the which is the type for the for all. Yeah, okay, this looks fine. We, we can check the argument, and then check if it has the same as the for all. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if it doesn't have, it's an error, right? If it's not for all, it's also an error. Dude, it's a direct map. What is there? Yeah, this is one I, I think I and got it. The yeah. top substitution on the body type where they identifier. Which is a T112, right? Mm -hmm. No, oh, wait, the identifier here is the X, right? No, 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 I said the body type. Oh, okay, yes. So that, you change the, the parameter name. Yeah, to the, the argument in the body type. Yeah, this is the T12, this is the X, and this is the T2. 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 Yes, T2. Okay. Man, are we liking something? I, well, reading this, I don't think so. I don't think so as well. Like, we don't need we to check really... if it's... We don't need to check if it's a star, I think. No. No, I don't think so. Uh, should check if it's a star, or what is a star? These two things, they can be... Oh, okay. It's because the kind in the... Wait. Mm, I'm confused. Wait. T for all. It is described by a kind. It needs but to be... be any kind. No, no, it doesn't. We don't need to check. So the reasons are... Mm. And the T for all can have any kind, right? Yeah. It doesn't need to be necessarily the star. Mm-hmm. Right, and then the argument can be any type also. Like it doesn't need to be a yeah, star. Yeah. Just this yeah. 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 Okay. And we don't we don't care about the body because the body <laughs> is an expression, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it will always be star. Okay. So now I think we are done with the the reference because well I we are I, done the, with the type checking of the yeah no type <laughs> checking type checking the what we can extract from the, the reference to the type check because now, now I think we need to do the operation and let's now we need to do oh so now oh. For, ki for type checking we still lack uh, operations we lack let's and then for other stuff we had kind checking equality yeah. reduction <laughs> yeah oh then another day right we don't have <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think it's easier to go to kind checking well, I think we should I mean, fix the... Let's just finish the type checking. Exactly, and that's what I was about today, to say. Man. Yeah, let's and just this... get it done with the type checking and then call it a day. <coughs> yeah, okay, so type checking the LEDs. I think it's easier. I think it's already done, though. Let's see. Okay, so it the, kind, the type of a LED is literally the type of the body. <laughs> yeah, that's really dumb. The only yeah. difference is that one we do in parallel and the other one we do with a recursion because we need to accumulate stuff. Uh... Uh, so what we do with the LED plus, which is Just... the one that you can, mm -hmm. like the LED in in OCaml or in F sharp, let's say. So you pick the the first member of the list of expressions, right? Which is the the first bind that you have. Mm -hmm. Then you type check that, and if that's fine, you add that typed expression uh, with that specific label to the environment, and then you call it again with the remaining where list that you have, and you do that until you have the base case, which is this. In which everything is fine, and you just need to type check the body. Mm -hmm. That seems fine, right, Anton? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, so the I other bet, one. I bet he's not even looking. I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have said no or not. <laughs> wow, well, but I am. Okay, so now type checking the parallel let in. 
we unzip the bindings, mm -hmm. then we type check them individually here. If any of those have a problem, we stop already, short circuiting. Uh, but if all of the, those we can type check successfully, then we need to prepare the, the new environment with all of those because we, need to, we still need to type check the body. So we do a fold, <coughs> uh, accumulating the accumulating the, the yeah. typed expressions, zipping it again with the labels. Inserting, mapping the labels to the expressions. Yeah, this is just the F function. Expression is not expression. Mm -hmm. Expression is a type. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. So let's just yeah. change that. Oh, I can. I can. I just bet use we just copied this code, code and just changed. Uh. On the uh, above. Well, this as well, right? Uh. Um, types. And then you horrible. also do here. No, 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 those are expressions, man. Oh no, these are expressions. Oh yes, that's true. These are correct. Sorry. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, sorry. Okay, and then after we do the fold, then we have our new environment. Um, no, and then we environment per se, but part of it, right? Yeah, part of our environment because our environment shares kinds and types. Uh, type of, uh, like labels with uh, mapping to types. That's what I mean. And then we finally type check the body with that updated uh, environment for the for the mapping so between labels. Looking and types. straightforward, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now operators. The operators, there are nothing there. Here. There's literally nothing. No, it's is... nothing. Yeah, like, okay. it's literally, we just get the list. Let's go by step by step. So, on generic... We get the list. Wait, yeah, are we, we have dismembering any... yet? No, right? No, not here. Okay. We not will. In... <laughs> yeah, on the future, but not now. Yeah, yeah so but then... Wait, type check the... We are not dismembering what? We are not pattern matching to identify the operator here. Yeah. But we will. We be, we just get and map all the operators with the type check and reducing the type. Yeah. We do. We pick the their type, reduce them. Then, and then we check if the operator Wait, is. I'm totally not understanding this line. Like type check with environment, and I have a nav. But. And but have a, you're, well, it's a bind. What is this? What is the expression? Well, this the is the expression a... is each one, each one of these. Yeah. List. So this is the because four remember that the operator can be like. Wait, is that a composition? What you are doing there? This is like a partial application. You are. This is like a partial application, not really composition okay. in this case. Okay, so look at this, Anton. Uh, so okay. the, this is the operator in the middle here, mm -hmm. and these two yeah. elements are members of this list. Uh, sure. These two. I think I understood that part, right? Yeah, I yeah. know what the operators are. I'm confused about what my no. is highlighting. What is I what is highlighting? So we are picking each one of these elements. Let's pick this one for instance, because this is an expression. So we need to type check that expression, right? To get its type. But maybe that type is gonna be something yeah, but that's that you are saying is the for list, right? For list, yeah. We, we each one of the members in here. Which we, we have this yeah, shoe. Yeah, that explains my guitar. <laughs> yeah, this. Isn't that the bind? So yeah! Bind? Yes. <laughs> That's a reverse <laughs> bind. How is, how is the bind doing that composition? I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you mean the bind doing that composition? Man? Yeah, because... Like, it, what is like, the reason? This would be... Not this thinking. Okay, this should be a composition, right? But I think Haskell is already handling this with this bind. Because, like, okay, let's so think of this, right? You have yeah. something here that's like you compose with the type check. With okay, the okay, so I can explain that to, to him. So, what is the return type of type check with environment? It's a function, I guess. No, it's not. It isn't either. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, we, we send it. What? But he needs an expression to finish. No, it no is but he will receive that. Expression. Yes. He but will receive that with the form. No. Then the result of type check with the environment if it's a function. Uh, no, that's yes, no, no, no. Okay, okay, so oh man. Okay, but so let, let let me let me help him. Uh imagine that this is okay, right? H Lint is complaining about something but I don't care. So I think it's just what is instance. what is the return type yeah, it's of just this? saying you can reduce this. <laughs> So, yeah. sure, it's the either, right? Yeah, so, but there's a problem, right? Because the reduce type needs to receive what is inside the either. 
Sure, then so bind. Then the bind, it will unwrap that if it's a right. If it's a left, we're gonna already throw the arrow right away. <coughs> if it's a right, we're gonna unwrap that, pick the type that this is gonna provide, and yeah, throw and that the to reduce. Yeah. yeah. And this will return another type. Yeah, I I'm not seeing how the bind is working with the, the right side there, right? Because the left side, I no, because the mind you expect a function and the evaluation of reduce type inf is a function that is expecting the <laughs> because it's wrong <laughs> that was wrong oh, the of the day, uh, okay, so Lemus, <laughs> let me go through like what i'm thinking right so okay. you have the bind so you have the value of a either well, talking about the, the bind that is not reversed right so you have a value that is an either on the left, and on the right, you have a function that you receive the thing already unwrapped. For me, the reduce type inf there makes sense because that you return that you return a function that expects yeah. an expression, so it makes total sense. But the other side okay. should yeah, result in not, a either. Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking is weird. It because if we did this, oh, it works. What the heck? Can you do the no, bind no, no, and bind no, okay, check? Okay, this yeah, just, the, this the types is just... are now in this array, right? No, this doesn't make sense. Let me let wait. Let me try to see if I am sense. crazy. No, I'm not crazy. This return is an either, and this needs the, the, what is inside. So the, this needs to be a bind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the composition would not work because of the either. Yeah, sure. but why is it not complaining? That's why I was puzzled. Because your H oh, it stopped your... working because yeah, this is cold. Yeah, so w w what is the what is the question again? I'm getting confused. I I, I grabbed you the, the the signature here. So okay, uh, type check with environment apply to if yeah. the result of this is a function. No no no, no wait is, no wait, that's already incomplete because oh, what is the yeah. for doing? Dude, but this has nothing to do no. We are talking about only okay, the expression okay. that is between the parameters. So let me, let me summarize the argument here. So the problem is, this thing is partially applied, right? Yeah. So this is partially applied, and it should return an either with uh, an expression, whatever. No, no but it's no, it no, no. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> fully applied, pay attention to my terms. Fully oh, applied okay. should return a either with a type, right? Yeah. 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 It is not. So Nathan is saying... Oh, so instead it should return a function, and you are binding a yeah. function. Yeah, but that's okay. not what is happening. I can explain that because that's what the for is there. The for is grabbing each element of this list and throw and throwing it this at it. What you said doesn't make sense, Thomas. Yeah, uh, that's, I still don't buy that because you the could... for that is a function on the left side. <coughs> Wait, is the for a function or is that yeah. like a special operator? No, the for is a function. Okay, so yeah. So what the for does has nothing to do with the things on parentheses will be evaluated to. Has nothing to do with it. No man, you're not. In, no man, I don't know. I don't know how to understand. No, to but dude, like, better. here's the point. If we didn't have the for here in this list. The then then doesn't error. make sense. Then no, doesn't no, make no. any sense. The expression would have to no. type check the let, same way. Let x this. What is the result of this? Yeah, then this this will not type check. Why? Then for is not a normal function. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Let me let me think better. What, Use this x is this... instead of the parentheses there, Amagita. Right, since you bound, now you using the place of the thing. Yeah, hlint doesn't comply. What is like, the problem? If, if that doesn't work, then that for... Works. No, that works. But, yeah, this, so you but this doesn't make sense, man. No, this makes sense code? because this is at the reducted, people. This is this. No, of okay, course it makes but... sense. No, 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 man. That's not exactly the same as at the reduction, I guess. No, this is exactly the same thing so wait, as at the reducted saying, like this. You're saying that the for hides the argument that it passes to the last thing, even if it's with a bind here. Yeah, the part, no, the that's, part that's why I flipped influence. it. That's why I flipped it this, because that's the problem. If you if I did this thing instead of what we did, then it will not work at all. 
Oh, then you are saying that the inverse bind is not the same thing as the bind, right? No, the reverse bind is exactly this. Okay, this one I would get. Why not, right? Because the, there will be a type Wait, mismatch. Okay. <coughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me ask you the following. <laughs> the bind expects a monad, right? The bind expects a monad. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, why the is the... Uh, and then okay, maybe, the maybe, maybe that's the, maybe that's the trick. Day. So... Type check with the environment apply to only if. How is that a monad? Yeah, that's the that's the point. Dude, dude, did you type check the code, the Haskell code, like after did the change? Not not sure. Dude, let, let's do one. Let's do quick. that. Yes, let's do this. I'm 90% sure it will work, but okay. <laughs> it's not 100%. No, it's not 100% because you guys are asking, and I'm trying to explain in different ways. No, it's not this, sense for this you guys. was working. This was working. Oh, this was working? Yes. Are Wait, you sure? You Absolutely, yes. Are you 100% sure, my friend? Well, 99% sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, so you I will go to the code you, right now. Just and remember I that you burned your hand last session. So, yeah, I, I, I am not, not, I have one hand, I, I am one-handed man now. Why did you bound the X if you're not using it? No, it doesn't matter, it's just to, to not have... No, it was not in the code, the it was not in the code, it no? was not in the code. Uh, wait... The parser is the par No, the parser, the par this is the new edition yeah, this is the, the parser. spaces we did. Yeah, <laughs> so what is the, oh, what is the error there? there probably. Uh, line 52, where? Which is file? Expression HS. No, can it's I? here. Can you change? It's definitely here, yeah. Yeah, just Let put the parentheses, I think. That's go. It. That's why you should not use monads. <laughs> the closure guy. No. No, this is. This, I saved it and it didn't work, maybe. Oh. I think I need to save. Because I don't trust that, you. Then that sucks. I don't trust you. Go for it. Ha -ha. Okay, so it is wrong. Yes. Yeah, it is. So I okay. didn't burn my hand. Good. Oh, just a second. <laughs> okay, so what is the complaint there? Let me double check. Yeah, it expects none either, but it has expression to result type. Why Wait. it is not... Wait, what the fuck is result it type? Is that an alias? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why is that not yet evaluated? Dude, it's weird. Because... Do I need to do it manually? Let me try that. Because bind is not the same thing as the as the same what is the name? As the same dynamics that you had that you had like doing eta reduction. No, oh, wait a sec. Uh, Mageta, is Mageta there? Yeah, I'm back. Can so, you do it again? Okay, I think I need save. Yeah, uh, save and do it again. Where were we editing? Typer.typer, uh, typer typer, yes. Just what typer, did you yeah. change your... Oh, you just changed uh, back to this. Yeah. No, no, I removed the X just to be sure. Okay, uh, so that was right. Okay, so I want to understand why it's not at the reducting. Why? That sucks. Can you, can you make an example of at the reduction to go through that? That you will see that it's not the... No, no, you don't need the, the lambda there. No, I know. And just... Actually, you do. On this expression, you do. No, but no, 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 but HLint is suggesting a, a, a f the fish. HLint is suggesting the fish, the Haskell fish. Oh, the Claysley. Uh, oh, okay, let's see. Oh. But I am very confused oh, why okay. I, the, I see, because that's the reverse bind was that not enough. You the expression, and then you use, get the either, <coughs> and then um, bind to the reducing, I see. Not really, let's see. So, oh, we perhaps didn't the right. meant one of these. Oh, that's the reverse bind. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's let's do the following. They let's have add a bad back compiler, the... man. <laughs> no, let's add back the let's add back the X stuff because now H Lynch is not complaining, right? Yeah. Quack, 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 quack. Oh, variable not in scope. We don't have the function. We are dumb. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, bad compiler. 
No, no, if he's suggesting a wrong operator that doesn't type check, it's a. No, but that's bad not a compiler. compiler. No, that's not a compiler telling us. This is not Rust, man. That's an hlint, oh. that's an extension. No, no, I'm seeing the terminal, not the, the tips on the editor. Man. No, then the terminal. The, 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 JHC was never suggesting. Uh, mm. Oh, okay, you just read from the. Yeah, the tool, hlint right? suggested. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, so this is another... Wait. What is, what is this? this? Just, just import it, man. It comes <laughs> just from... Just import Yeah, this Okay, is... so the fish is this, right? This is what yeah. HLint was suggesting us. I would bet that then is some kind of composition, I guess. Uh... Yeah. If the fish works. Oh, it is! Look! You pick the A, give me a function that picks an Here. A and produces a B, this unwraps time... the B, and it gives me the C. It comes from control moment. This is composition. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope I can do that. Don't no, you can't. Parentheses? No, I yeah, I think you can't do that. But... <laughs> Let's see. If I can't, this number sucks. I can't. Try this to use parentheses sucks. around the operator. Yeah. yeah. I never use it like that though. If it doesn't work, then it's a shitty language. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. No, not in scope. Not in scope control moment. Yes, yeah, so let's import this garbage. Let me... Wait, it is in the base. Weird. Okay, so... So you... So, so what, the bind, you cannot add the reducted? Huh. I am on... 95% sure I already used the bind with that reduction. It, it doesn't it doesn't make sense, I guess. I Why not? Because put example there of a reduction. Uh, and let's see right? what is it the same operation like at a reduction. Uh, just help here. How do you import this garbage? Uh, I never. Um, let me help you. For now, we can do it like this, though. We don't care. Just go. Okay. And good. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so now let's go back to the example just to meet you understand. No, actually, let's not do that. Let's finish this crap. So uh, we apply a loop, type checking and reducing each one of the member expressions that we are applying to the operator. Mm -hmm. Then, then let's jump this function for now. Then we check the operators if they are logical. We just check if all the types that we reduced and type checked, mm -hmm. if they are booleans. If they are, we are fine. If they are not, then we are not fine. Mm -hmm. uh, Same thing if for is the equality, then we try to find an element in that is different the, than the first one. The, the, than the first, and if it is, then we say that we have a problem, mm -hmm. and then if it's not, we just return the first, the type of the first one, because yeah. all of them are equal. And, the and if they are arithmetics operators, mm -hmm. then they all need we... to be either rational or integer. Or integer, or we have an error. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. What is the check if all like it receives? Oh, the check no. if all is a function it's... that yeah. picks uh, a, li a list th that is at the reductor in this case. It's all. And it's what checking. The fuck, dude? It is just all with. Yeah, it is this. Yes. No, what is the X in the X S then, like after that? Oh, oh this? this is, just, is that the body number. of the function? It's just this no, number in no, the head. No, this is operating type. Why is that invented? We couldn't... What do you no, mean? we don't know. We couldn't last time uh, we were trying make to do the... This last time. Oopsie. It's the at, actually. Yeah, yeah. at, at, we X and X, 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 right? And we couldn't. Like, it doesn't allow yeah. us with the bind, with the... Probably there's an extension for that, but I don't know yet yet. Uh, and then we did this no, to... That, that's not possible because it's not exhaustive. But since we are not, we cannot do that, why are we not matching the operand types? That like, is not possible because that's not exhaustive. What do you mean then? Yeah, like on the operand type. You oh, cannot do you, mean, you mean doing like this. Right? Yeah, you cannot. It's not exhaustive, right? Uh, yeah. No. Oh, wait. It could be empty, right? 
Yeah, what's I, I think he's right. I think he's right. That's why I did it oh, in this way. Oh, I see. Way. I see. Be and because these are unsafe functions. Yeah, and it makes sense. I was... makes sense. Yeah, it so... makes sense. So, <laughs> yeah. That's unsafe can blow, right? Yeah. Like, our invariants doesn't guarantee that they will succeed. Yeah, we are not using the safe prelude. So we have access to these. No, no. What I mean is the parser can throw us something that has, like, Oh, the part is limiting, right? No, that we if, need to have if, at least two. No, yeah, that's what is oh. our safeguard is this line. Oh, okay. Because if it's empty here, it will be empty here. Wait, it I'm will never reach. Wait. What? Oh, you're not seeing my code. No, you're not seeing my code because my get no, no, is. Oh, okay, now I got it. Like, you have on the. the okay, the signature there, right? But what is the other one? Because then you are matching also the other cases, right? Where are you doing that? Doing what? Uh, line one three three. You are doing pattern matching on a list, right? <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh, the other one is in here. Oh, Margarita, just scroll up. Yes, yes. We are checking <laughs> if it has at least two right here. Yeah. Yeah. If it has one, uh, we just it no, has that's, zero. That's that's empty, but empty and wait. What the... Yeah, like this oh, case, okay. You are checking. It needs oh, to yeah. be at least two. Well, actually, at, least actually, one. at least one. At least one, this could, because this, this, this can be new. Something, this can be empty, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Now I got it, I got it. Yeah. So then... Uh, yeah, so that's how we are type-checking operators. Uh, I am in favor. I am in favor. I don't know how complicated this will make the code. I am in favor of, ra of like grouping these logical and arithmetic ones in another yeah. sum type. Because then, because this is not exhaustive. Can't we, at can all. we make like, well, we could make a, a sum type that has other sum types inside. Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't know how much more complicated that code will get after doing that. Yeah, we can take a look. Dude, here. what you can do is like match every single one, and if the function is the same, then the body is too little to care about, right? You will not write a whole bunch of stuff in each branch. It's I literally don't get, a function I don't get call each one. I don't get what okay. you mean, sorry. So, uh, we are doing the otherwise, right? Yeah. Uh, but instead of that, we could pattern match oh, every switch. single one. And the brains that have the body to do the same stuff, it will be just a function call. So, it doesn't matter if the brains are doing repeating <laughs> code because it's just a function call. Um, Wait. Folks. Repeat the last part. Go, um, Maggot. I think I have another problem, but go on. I'll let them finish first. Uh, uh, go not okay. So the problem is exhaustiveness on the like otherwise that we are using with operators, yes. right? Yes. So what you can do is the following. You do a match on every single operator, and since you don't have as good as a language as Ocamel, <laughs> then the branches that are needs to do the same thing on the body of the branch, you just put the function call. For example, you see that the and and the or are doing the same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Besides from the, the error message. Yeah. Then you could encapsulate this in a function, and then you could just call in each body. It would be duplicated, but it's just a function call. Mm -hmm. No, I then understand. Then you have exhaustiveness. Uh, no, can I understand like, what if... you're talking, but... Hmm. Okay, so instead of making yeah, we make a boolean function. I I, then... I don't I still think we have a problem because if we if we that that's the issue for me that of not having them grouped by like logical and, and arithmetic because at some point we're gonna have every single time we add an operator we're gonna have to go here. Yeah. Right. It's the whole and... point of. Oh, oh but... yeah, I see. I see what yeah. you got. I see what you mean. And then oh. Uh, let's add a new new thing, and then you could yeah. just like, oh, it's another logical operator. I don't know, NAND. Who cares? Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah, that's a good case. Kind of like then you have to be sure that they will you like hold the same invariants. But yeah, it's better in that sense. Yeah, and I agree that Haskell sucks on having this 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 uh, or patterns in pattern matching. I not agree. having, right? Not having or, or patterns. Disjunction, right? Yeah, disjunction pattern matching. Okay, now I get this problem to finish this thing. I don't know if it's a problem, but let's see. So where are we adding this show? It's, it's a in variable. Prelude. Yeah, or it is in the prelude. 
It is not... Okay, so we have other things we are adding to the content because I'm kind of worried of how we are adding these garbages. Let's see. What, is your, what are you worried about? <coughs> okay, there is... Uh, okay, I was thinking... Okay, this could be an operator, but on the case, on the sense of show, it doesn't really make sense. Let's not do that. Yeah. Man, if we can implement as a normal function, it doesn't need to be operator. Like, it would be bad. No, and this function does I.O. I don't want to put I.O. in the operators. Yeah, so I think Oh, it's because right. of Haskell, um, right? Yeah, because we need to use a transformer to get rid of that. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. <laughs> you or know, unsafe perform I.O., man. No. Yeah. <laughs> it was working. It was working just fine. If you are implementing a like non purely It doesn't matter, yes. Ah uh, no, depends, we can do it better. And you guys on the side of light. <laughs> okay, what else of a cool function should we do here? Just show? Yeah, for now I don't see any other especially that we don't have lists. Okay, like, so don't... let's write an example let's write code in our language. Let's do a Fibonacci. No, 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 let's finish the recording. Oh, we don't have That's recursion. That's the first. Oh, we can't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we actually, don't have recursion. we do. We do, we do. We do have recursion? Yes, what? We, have, we don't have recursion. Let's stop the stream. Uh, yeah, let's just stop recording stuff. What do you mean by we have recursion? Well, if we insert... Okay, we don't have the self-referencing body, right? On the environment. Yeah, we don't have self-reference. We don't have... Yeah, we don't have that. Anyway, just finish the, the recording for now, please. Unless you... Def okay, I'll do that.